Carl. Crypto Dundee. A victim's tale. Zero. Good morning from New Zealand. I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. This morning, Monday morning, we are going to be listening to an interview that I finally got from Vera. Now, it's not Vera's problem that we say finally got. It was my problem. We did an interview with her, and for some reason, the sound wasn't working. So we had the silent Vera version that no one really wanted to listen to. Yesterday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, Vera grabbed a glass of Coca-Cola, I grabbed a can of beer, and we sat there and redid the interview. Probably one of my best interviews ever. But due to Zoom doing something silly with my account, the sound isn't ideal. But I, I spent a good hour tidying it up. It's not ideal, and I beg you, please, to forgive me for the quality of the sound, but I'm going to run with it anyway. Vera's story started way back when Hyperverse was out there being flaunted as an investment opportunity of a lifetime. Well, that's part of her story. She actually started a bit before that with what they call, um, I think it's trading. And she invested $40,000 and lost that money within two weeks. She had an expert helping her from the platform. And then they gave her $10,000. She made $100,000 and went to withdraw it from the platform. They gave her $10,000 from the platform to play with, but she thought it was real. And she made $100,000, so she built faith with the platform once again, and she did her own trading. And then when she went to withdraw the money, they said, no, 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 that's our money. We gave you the $10,000, so any, any money you've made is ours. And they wanted her to deposit another $10,000, blah, 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 blah. We'll hear all about it in the interview. She invested $45,000 into Hyperverse. She managed to claw out $23,000 of it. Um, and while it's about Carl, it's because Carl came along as her hero and started giving her advice. So she invest, invested another 15000 into Hyper Nation. And then that all the funds got frozen there. And then the last one was VAV, where she invested three thousand US dollars into that platform with the help, the guiding hand of Carl Miller. So that's where Carl Miller comes into it. I'm quite pleased I've interviewed her twice because we get to hear the real story and the factual side of it. Now what I'm going to show you before we get started and listen to the interview, this is Vera, is we have an article that's been published by the Guardian newspaper. And the reason why Vera wanted to be interviewed by me is this was the main cornerstone article about how investors have lost money uh, and it seemed to have slipped through the, um, the system that they have in Australia for protecting citizens from frauds and the like. So this whole story was all about Sam Lee, Ryan Jew, Hyperverse, we are all Satoshi, VAV, MMM, make more money. But in there, they also did a story on Vera. And Vera was a little bit upset that they didn't use Carl Miller's name. But to be honest, Carl Miller wasn't responsible for all her losses. But we have actually got recordings of Carl Miller giving Vera advice, investment advice, and telling her how it is and the like. So I'm going to name and shame Carl Miller because Carl Miller right now today in an hour and a half will be on a Zoom meeting teaching people how to invest in a new platform, a new crypto trading platform called Arbitar uh, called Boomerang, which is arbitrage trading. And even though if that, that um, it's complicated to explain, but basically it's all derived from We Are All Satoshi. And We Are All Satoshi has been flagged by the, the state of California as a, they've given it a cease and desist letter and no one should be promoting it. However, because these guys are after the commission money they get when people sign up for it, um, you know, they continue to promote it. Now, Carl's been promoting uh, Hyperverse, as far as I can tell, 
and also hyphenation and encouraging people to put their money into diversal. We've seen them on live videos doing so and also the incriminating voice files that we will play which he berated Vera for giving me we'll play today. So I just wanted you to have a look through the article. Uh, the article, well, I don't think it is at the moment but it will be in the description of this video and there'll be lots of snippets along the way. So Vera is a very successful business lady. She had saved up a little bit extra bit of money or had access to more money and listened to the advice she'd got from Carl. And to date, she'd actually lost over $100,000 to crypto investment schemes. She reached out to me because she had gone to an organization that claimed they could claw her money back from the blockchain. At that time, she'd, she was out of pocket, I think, $90,000, she said to me. And they managed to claw back $110,000 and put it onto a platform. Now, I don't know if the website's still going, but it was a WordPress website, I found out. And it was actually called... Um, oh, I forgot what it was called now. Wallet Private-wallet.net. And she could log in there, she gave me the login, and I could see that they had actually reclaimed $110,000 from her. It cost her $1,800 to get to that stage, but now they said if she wanted to get it off that stage, sorry, off that platform, she would need to pay another $1,800. And they would have just kept asking her for money until she told them to bugger off. But the exciting thing about it, which I will find the, the video and put it in the description, is I interviewed the guy that was her expert. And he had a UK phone number with American accent. And I talked to him for about half an hour. And I got to yell down the phone at him and call him a dirty and disgusting um, liar. And even after that, Vera listened to that recording. She was still in two minds whether this guy was real and genuine and really able to get her money back. And she was thinking, do I pay this $1,800 again with the possibility I'm now going to get $110,000 rather than just the $90,000 that they were originally recovering. All the schemes and all the mentality behind it is quite interesting. Um, you know, when the, when somebody's invested, you know, it's hard for people to let go of the money and then not reinvest money. So Vera's invested on uh, a trading platform. Uh, she invested $40,000. She's put $45,000 into Hyperverse or Hypernation. No, Hyperverse. And then the money got frozen. And then she put another $15,000 into Hyper Nation and with Carl Miller's help. And then lastly, she put, well, not lastly, then she put $3,000 into VAV. And then after that, she then paid a company that claimed that they could get her money back, an additional $1,800. So there's a lot of money gone through Vera into these platforms, hoping that she could get her money out. Now, she's not unusual. Because why these articles have been published, um, we just had our, our third article published by Sarah Martin from The Guardian newspaper about Stephen Rees-Lewis, who was a fake CEO that guided people through that time. And she reported that they have, they reckon that this is a $1.3 billion scam, one of the biggest crypto scams. And I've got another video coming out at one o'clock today about the rise and fall of Bitcoin Rodney and uh, Bitcoin Beauty, which is Brenda Chunga and Rodney Broughton. Broughton, I think I'm saying that right. And it's more about the sales pitch and the momentum they got behind them to actually fool people out of their money. But 1.3 million billion with a B, it's hard to comprehend. I believe it's actually a four billion dollar scam going by what I've heard because I've been following these crypto scams for quite a long time. So once again, if you have any additional information on anything to do with the Hyperverse, if you have a, an investor, my what I'm doing here is I'm actually gathering information. I'm building a database. Uh, if you have a look at my uh, records here, you'll see here's the recordings. Uh, I've got uh, information on Carl Millett, Miller, uh, Janet, who's, um, and then we've got George, uh, we've got Yvonne Henry, and we've got Kate Longley. And we're building up databases on all these people. I'm hoping that the ATO is actually going to take the advice of the American men in black and actually get me in to show them the evidence that I have on these five people. They're part of an organization called Anzac Crypto Whalers. And if you go to their YouTube channel, they've only published 77 videos. 
They've got 773 subscribers. But when you go in here, you can see the videos of them actually doing the criminal activities of promoting We Are All Satoshi. Uh, and it's just breathtaking. But these are the people that advise people like Vera. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to listen to Vera's story. And as I say, that the sound quality is not too bad, but the lips don't quite meet up, and you'll see this. So let's listen to Vera. I'm going to listen along the way. I'm not going to push stop, but this is going to go for about an hour. But this is one of my best interviews, I reckon. So enjoy. Let's get started. Your last name before when you told me? Gazard. Gazard. G-A-Z-A-R-D, yeah. Now this lady, ladies and gentlemen, is a very brave lady because she was on the fence about giving her story over to a journalist. She is now world famous on the Guardian newspaper. They published an article about Sam Lee, Ryan Jew, and everything. And they also published a secondary article because Vera told everyone her story. And I connected the Sarah Martin with Vera. And in short, basically, um, they didn't mention the person that was a contributing factor to Vera losing a lot of money to crypto uh, investments. And that's what this video is all about. We actually really want to name and... Just so you know, this is recorded live, not the interview, but me right now. And there is a chat room on the side here. So if you want to, you're more than welcome to ask questions along the way and I will answer them as we go. Shame as many people as we can who got Vera involved in this opportunity of a lifetime. I'll, mm. I'll be honest, we've actually done this interview maybe one and a half times. The first time, my friggin' sound didn't work. <laughs> the second time, Zoom cut me off after halfway through our... And we're sort of getting kind of... Well, I'm getting pissed off. Vera's been very patient with me. Yeah. But the advantage of that, turning the bad into the good is that we probably know what we really want to home in on. Mm. Now, I just want to make um, an excuse for my recording here. We are Satoshi have been going and complaining about my me rebroadcasting their scam meetings. And Zoom, for some reason, decided to listen to them. So they have they removed my Zoom account. And I've got it back now, and I got it back about an hour before this interview. And I wrote to them with a stern email, and I've actually carbon copied an American the government into it, and also Sarah, the reporter, asking Zoom why they provide the platform for people to, to facilitate running these scams. And then when somebody is creating public awareness like myself, why do they listen to these scammers and cut me off? I also pay for Zoom. But I don't pay for a webinar account. So just yesterday they made it so when they broadcast, they're actually doing a webinar and they could display everyone's email address across the screen. So if I rebroadcasted their meeting, which I did anyway, um, I would have my email address across the screen and then they could prove what Zoom account was rebroadcasting and hence um, Zoom would remove the account. Obviously they've been working with Zoom, but I just can't fathom why Zoom has continued. But the good side of that is now I'm corresponding with some higher people in Zoom and I've given them every single Zoom link of all these organizations that are, are running Ponzi schemes and scams. And I've, this morning they've created a new ticket for it. So we might get some action, but it still makes me wonder why Zoom has been providing these, this platform where people can promote their Ponzi schemes using Zoom. So Zoom needs to be held accountable. So at the moment, I'm pleading with Sarah Martin from the Guardian newspapers to actually go after these big dogs like YouTube and actually Zoom who are facilitating running these platforms. So the reason why this sounds so bad, I don't know, but something happens when you record something on, at the moment, they've put my account back to a free account instead of a paid account. So I wrote them a ticket last night complaining, but unfortunately... I've now recorded this, and you it's like chewing gum, the sound. So I was trying to match it up and line it up so we were in lip sync, but I just couldn't do it. I spent an hour trying to tidy it up last night at 1 o'clock, and I just gave up. So this is as good as it's going to get. You can hear it, but I know it's distracting when you're listening to people talking. So maybe listen to this like a podcast, 
but I wanted to prove I actually did <laughs> interview Sarah, uh, Sarah, Vera, Sarah, great, clever Danny. Yeah. Yes. The first question I asked last time was, how did you get involved? What intrigued you to get involved in something to do with crypto and investment opportunities? Well, Danny, I would say to uh, 99% of people would have seen an image of perhaps uh, this famous person, an AI him. image. <laughs> of this person or um, I, I have known or read about that Australia's Prime Minister, Minister Anthony Albanese has been used um, Twiggy Forest a very successful uh, mining magnate in Australia his image has been used and he's actually taken Facebook to court over it Brilliant, so what you said so I'm not, I don't. I want this to be absolutely clear. It wasn't Elon Musk, but it was a AI version of Elon Musk providing financial advice that Sarah Vera saw on the computer, which convinced her to invest. Because if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for her. But it wasn't Elon Musk. And there's been quite a few people that have had their identity stolen by AI, who obviously are doing promote uh, financial advice. So just a word of caution: if you see advert and it sounds too good to be true, and you've got a celebrity endorsement, it could actually literally be just a, a rip-off AI version of that celebrity. Telling mm -hmm. us is Elon Musk have had somebody AI generate his image and give a sales pitch of a lifetime, and you saw that, and that was the yes. reason you invested because because you thought if it's as good enough for Elon Musk, it's good enough for me. Correct. Yeah, but... and, and I would say 99% of, of people that have been scammed has followed the, uh, at this similar path. Right. Now, what we did talk about a wee while ago, you are a very successful business lady. You've saved up your, a lot of money. and you've I've backed unfortunately... myself. I've backed myself, Danny. Yeah. yeah. You it's, like... yep. it, to to uh, uh, personally, I, I think if, if you can own your own home or – buy your own home you can use that as a bank really to um to expand or start up a business or or work from that you know you just got to back yourself yeah. and at, bricks and mortar is the one asset that will always be top of the list accepted by everyone and won't be going anywhere in the hurry unless of course you live in japan which is unfortunate yeah, you can buy places for a dollar over there, I've heard. <laughs> it's crazy. Yes. Um, yeah. So just so we know you personally, you live in Australia. You yes. You have a couple of Airbnbs. Correct. And if you want to go and stay in one of those Airbnb, ask Vera. But I'm, I'm just going to sort of get, if I was going to stay in an Airbnb, that was, th is it $1,350 a night? It is. It and is, Danny. It, peak season, peak season, yep. mind you. But um, look, it's four bedroom. It has seven uh, TVs. I have. Um, How many? I supply wine, beer, water. Seven TVs? Yes. Mate. I'm across the road from the beach. It's a dog friendly beach. Um, I've got um, chess men. I've got karaoke, table tennis, pool. In ground spa, um, you name it, I've got it. Now you've got to tell me uh, just to soften up the conversation. Was that the one that the spa decided to empty out the other day? Yes, it did. <laughs> it did. At the fridge, the fridge carved itself to the freezer works, but the fridge part of it, the fan went. To, yes, to try and get <laughs> service personal. Uh, At the fridge, yeah. the fridge cut uh, is impossible. It's me, impossible. Uh, good on you. So you solve that problem. Real Aussie stuff. Well, in yeah. New Zealand, we have the number eight wire, and it fixes everything. Number eight wire? Yeah. No, yeah. What's, what's that? It's a it farmer's thing. It's a piece of wire that the farmer always has, and normally it's the, the same wire that they use to put the fences up with, and mm. most farmers will make, make the number eight wire into anything to fix any problem he has on the farm. Uh, so it's called, like Kiwi ingenuity. I don't know if you have something similar, yeah. like you know, the Aussies can fix anything. Yeah, uh, no, I haven't come across that yet. 
mind you, there are a lot of tradespeople out there that pretend to, well, they extol their, their ingenuity and say they can fix it, but until they come there um, and look at but they charge for a service call, so you have to pay the service call. They don't promise to fix it. But I, I think that's a bit of a scam in itself because they go out there, they, they know they're going to receive, a, you know, a fee of a service call and, and they've got no intention, they have no idea how to fix what they're looking at, you know, and they didn't from the start. So, Good yeah, stuff. I've run across a few of those. Now, your, your picture, the picture behind me, you can see that, can't you? I apologise. Yes, I can. I can. I was, I was, I was going to text Carl this yeah, morning uh, to ask him where's my hibernation money and where's my VAV money. Yeah. I'm still waiting, so wondering if we've had a chat for Sam lately. What, what's more scarier, the the the, the 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 crocodile or Carl Miller? Oh, they are one and the same. Yeah, yeah? they yeah. are one and the same. So he's got his he's got his human mask, uh, you know, on your right hand side. But really, underneath that human mask, he's the image on your left. Yeah, yeah. he's a crocodile. Just, absolutely, big mouth, sharp teeth. Yep. So mm. um, when I first met you, I, you told me that you have lost around is it ninety or over a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. Thereabouts, with the uh, if you take hyperverse into account, hibernation, uh, and, and even before that, um, which Elon Musk's image AI image led me to a um, a forex trading company by the name of Wall Street Live, and, and they are just a, a whole team of uh, rotors that live in Cyprus, I believe, because it's a politically friendly, you know, country towards rotters and scammers. What country I think. did you say? Cyprus. Oh. Right. Hey, you might be interested to know that Carl is now promoting a Ponzi scheme called Boomerang. I've seen that. I I watched you. I watched you uh, when I can. And we uh, said that and I watched the Boomerang show at your Boomerang um clip last night and he took the 10k people in his room yeah, yeah he took the 10k people do you know why it's 10k no do tell okay. <laughs> because in america if you transfer for more than ten thousand dollars crypto you're meant to inform some sort of financial institute so that's why they've set the cap at 10k Ah. Oh. I thought it had something to do with the tax department. Anything above 10K, they investigate. But if you keep cap it at 10K, it sort of can slide under the radar. Under the kitchen table. It's disgusting. Yes. So the AI bot is really interesting. And just in short, it takes about five or 10 minutes to do a transaction if you're lucky. And you can make anything from $1.25 to $3 each transaction. I don't know. I look at the, I don't, can't remember his name, but there was some guy going on and on Joe. and on. Yes, and that he was doing a transaction every, I don't know, few minutes. And, yeah. and well, do you know Yvonne Henry? You heard of her? Well, yeah. I have. She was part of the VAV scam with Carl. Oh, yeah, V-A-V. They, they... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So what what my viewers would be interested in is probably ha the initially I've been telling everyone and I might have my facts wrong, but you initially Thanks put forty thousand in dollars into room. a trading bot. Yeah. No. 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 I, I put it with uh, as I said through Elon Musk's image. Uh, you you just uh, note your um, and then you make an inquiry. I guarantee you, within posting that inquiry, you would get your phone ring off the hook with about 10 different companies calling you. And would that be on like, a Facebook page or something like that? Well, where they come from, I don't know. But, yes, that would have emulated from a Facebook page or on a Google ad or, or something similar to that. So as soon yeah? as you show an interest, you're basically putting a flag up saying... 
<laughs> there's some great, she, go after her like a bull in a china shop. That's right. Yeah. yeah. The the image the, the image so they right send working. should be a, a crocodile, a big mouth crocodile, and and then you'd know what it's all about, you know, before you start. So you started but, with forty thousand dollars on a trading platform. That's correct. How yeah. long before and, you lost your money? Matthew, oh. War Matthew Warner from Wall Street Live, based in the UK. Um, Nigeria, actually, but don't tell anyone that. that we that's secret. right, Cyprus, actually. Cyprus, yes, Cyprus, of course. Yeah. Now, interesting enough, when I actually uh, interviewed Vera originally, um, which I actually got to bring up anyway, so I might as well go hunting for it. She, uh, we listened to the video I'll just bring up my YouTube channel I think I didn't d record her live so we should be able to find it in one of my recent videos so if you're on my YouTube channel and you click on videos you will get some of the live videos I've done now I'm not 100% sure here when I interviewed Vera I must have interviewed her live after all that oh no I didn't yeah, so three months ago, I actually originally interviewed Vera. Oh, this was actually Carl. I actually, he advised Yvonne to invest in her, herself and her partner $3,000 into VAV, and they actually got given a bank account number. Now, I've been talking yeah, about this. quite interesting, actually. Um, when they did pay the crypto, they got a bank account number to put the money into, which was a real surprise. But that wasn't the video I was looking for. What I actually were looking for is this one here, which is a video where we actually rang up the guy and talked to him on the phone. That's what you do. Oh, well, didn't admit he was a scammer. Which I'll... Um, have a listen to this. I think it's him. You have to go to metacroach.net. Yeah, but then I don't know that you are linked metacroach together. Metacroach.net is the website. Do I? I don't know that I mean, you're linked. You could be anyone, couldn't you, email. really? So but do, do like you not I have said, a LinkedIn page? Do you not have a LinkedIn page? Uh, in the email specifically, no. So you are you personally not on Has LinkedIn? come from the support. Are you personally not on LinkedIn at all? You have no identity? Oh, and LinkedIn. No, specifically me, I'm not. Oh, why is that? I don't see any reason to be on uh, LinkedIn, sir. Well, it would help people get a bit of credibility about you. I just work for the investigation department, sir. I'm well, not, not a trading company well, or, you... or, or a broker or something that I have to provide. We normally, uh, you have to understand, Metacodes, I don't, don't have to I don't I, people. excuse me mate I don't have to understand anything but you you've actually told me that the lady's given you you're a investigator and you've you've asked the lady to set up a private wallet on a website that's built on WordPress So if you go to private I hyphen wallet you'll see it's built on WordPress It's not even a proper exchange it's not even a proper private wallet what do you mean by that, sir? Well, if you go type into your web... So, she's, you've given her access to private-wallet.net and you've said that's her private wallet and you've told me that you've sent money to her private wallet address that's on a WordPress website. I don't know what... How do they build that website, but it's every other website have the same... Like metacode.net have no, the, you know, no, mate. Yep. Own you, website. Yeah. You if you don't exist and your email isn't linked to the company you re represented, I have no reason to believe you at all. You don't have to, sir. If you don't, like I said, like I already been with Vera for a long time. I provide her everything. I've never asked her to provide me any. Well, you I've seen me private wallet. It's something separate from us. Yeah. And I whatever, mate. You know, I don't know how they provide all the. And whereabouts are you really from? Are you from Nigeria? Originally, or I'm from Kenya? the U.S. Are you really? Originally, I'm from what? the U.S. Oh, yeah. Well, can I get you to go to my website and have a look and so I can see your IP address? You want me to go to your website? Yeah. What website is it, sir? 
Um, it's D H E K D E H E K dot com. Okay, so how is going to help you to figure the, all that stuff? Because I bust, I bust scammers for a living, and I'm a YouTuber. And I've been investigating you, okay. but you don't exist. And I think you're full of shit. Okay. If that's what you think, you no, really that's what I know, mate. regarding that case. That's what I know. And you've just put on an American... So, you know, this is the you know, conversation I was having with him. You know, and obviously he'd been guiding Vera and giving her, um, you know, peace of mind that they can get her money. He was claiming he was an, an investigator. He was registered in some London office and he'd um, be able to help her. It was just disgusting, but it was quite nice to be able to actually be given the the authority because I had to get Vera on the phone to let me speak for her and all sorts of shit. But anyway, we gave him enough rope and at the end he hung himself. So there's a video in the chat room if you wanted to listen to that. That The United Kingdom company um, housed itself in Cyprus. and um, So how long did it take you before you lost your 40000 he lost it. He lost it because that, that was my initial um, initial step into trading, and um, I, he he uh, placed trades on gold, silver, oil, oil, uh, oil. Yeah, <laughs> good. And he would he you know in hindsight now he would buy when it was high and sell when it was low. Oh, that's what they tell you to do, though, isn't it? And that sounds look good. That sounds good logical business. Yeah, but, you know, Sorry about the, the truth is if you buy, you know, if you've done your due diligence and and study a bit about it, um, you would buy when it's low and sell when it's high. And that's how you get ahead, I think, in the yeah. Forex trade world. So last so, time I think you told us you lost that money within 48 he hours. He lost it in two weeks. Two weeks? He lost oh, it I got in it wrong. I'm two telling weeks. it's 48 hours. Yeah. Yep, yep, That's yep. Not bad. Twenty Two weeks. a week. Oh, sorry about that. He lost a uh, forty thousand Australian dollars in two weeks. I couldn't believe it. I was devastated. Oh. You know, I couldn't believe how naive I was, how gullible, how, how trusting, how just you, everything. You, you know? are a mum and dad investor. <laughs> you are not abnormal. You are just the, the you are the clientele they go after because you have built your reputation on trusting what people say and a handshake. And yes. they take advantage True. of people like you. Yes, they yeah, they, they did well and truly and, and they found it um a source of amusement, I think, really, which mm. makes it just so much worse. But I really hope that, that karma is the way of the world, is the way of karma life. Karma rules the world, Vera. Yes. It will get them. Uh, I can tell you some uh, karma stories that are happening right now because of your braveness, of your sticking your neck out, too right, eh? the awareness. Like, we've got Sarah Martin on the go. She went out there and did an article, which I didn't really want her to do. I'll be honest. It was about the funny side of Hyperverse, Stephen Reese Lewis, Mr. H, Mrs. H, I think even Mr. Satoshi might have been mentioned. I'm not sure about that. And because of that, mm. we've actually managed to find the real Stephen Reese Lewis. No. Friggin' See, I was, I was never privy to any of his videos or uh, Zoom meetings. I were. We were yeah. trying to, we tried everything to find him. So because of your story, it is open to hornet's nest. Now, the guy that actually found Stephen Reese Lewis come onto my uh, live the other day and I interviewed him and mm. he told me how he went about doing reverse image search just today I said to him would you like to partner up and do a let's go find Ryan Jew and he said I'm in okay now because of that article which I haven't told you somebody else has reached out to me on Twitter and shown me the criminal network behind this organisation They've shown me guys running around with AK-47s outside big flash houses in California who are guarding people. I don't, oh. I'm looking at these photos and I'm going, this can't be real. Can this be happening in America? I don't know, yeah. but I've got a, so we've got a Are, are they like the, the Kalpish Patels in the... In yeah, so I did get given some interesting information yesterday on Twitter, which we're going to go through with... Um, 
hopefully um jack i got your name right mate i hope so but um listen to this guy's voice why does it always rain on me why did it always rain on me even though i lied when i was 17 why does it always <laughs> rain on me so that if you don't know is actually the real stephen reese lewis yes the CEO of Hyperverse, who did seven videos leading the nation into their demise. And um, so, yeah, so he's actually a runner. We've done a lot of research on him. We've grabbed every single image necessary. He's actually a sports commentator, would you believe? So if you go to videos on his Facebook page, which you're more than welcome to have a look at, I'll put that in the chat room as well. Um, you can actually see, uh, when's this video? This might be just recent. It's him in a sauna, maybe he's clothed. So I've just been running outside this morning, easy 3k, and afterwards I always jump in the cold pool. I think it's about 13 degrees, really important for muscle recovery. Guys, there's no excuses for this. I'm 43 years old and I do this. So here we go. And it is cold, by the way. 43 degrees. Let's sit here for about two minutes. God, we never know for two minutes. But the and that one is one it. Was this one here when I found this and video. Transfer windows uh, so far. So, so far, the windows, of course, closed. Mm -hmm. Manchester City fans might be happy with Erling Haaland. Let us know. Hashtag PL fans. All the Skype details at the bottom. This is what you're saying about your team's transfer windows. I think Liverpool's transfer business has been good. Cavalio is an absolute find. I've been starting to see that already. Okay, he's a fan and because Nunes, well, soccer think, commentary is the company. That was not the video I was thinking of finding, actually. But yeah, it's just quite eye-watering. Um, I actually think he's actually removed uh, the video that... Um, well, th this is another one here. My land, Steve, is a fan zone regular. Steve, from one goal scorer to another, because Lamb said Liverpool's signing of the season is no doubt Diogo Jota. Jota has provided us with the crucial goals that win matches. So he's a guy Love that has told everyone really that he's the CEO of a well company when he's not claiming he's an actor and now you can see all these videos of him um flaunting his lifestyle do you think you know now that all came from an article in the paper um that uh sarah martin wrote so the power of the media i mean forget the law enforcement people but this particular um article about Stephen Rees Lewis is just the beginning. So you can see Sarah's actually like a bulldog, got stuck into these um, this content. I've been helping her as much as I can, providing information. She researches a lot more than just my stuff, of course, you know, but it's awesome being part of it. But here's four articles, and there's about to be a fifth article coming out in a day or two, which will be the start of the Don Donomos, which is really exciting. So um, as I said to Vera in this here is I take my hat off to her because I have interviewed a few people. I get tons and tons of emails of people telling me that they've been scammed and lost money, but they want to remain anonymous because they're embarrassed. And here's Vera telling her story bravely to us, but it opens up a can of worms and other people start um, you know, telling their story. Now, I know some information which Sarah has asked me not to say, so I won't, but some real cool stuff is about to happen. And um, and this is just brilliant. So as I've said in this video, which you won't hear very well because it sounds a bit crap, is that even though Vera might be embarrassed about, you know, her involvement in these crypto investment platforms and losing her money, she's actually a hero because she's, she's one hell of a lady that's actually stuck her, she's back to herself, she's an entrepreneurial lady, and she's funded her way into property investments, got a little bit of extra money left over, a mum and dad investment, and then people like Carl Miller have come along and just coerced her out of it. We're going to listen to a recording uh, in the few, uh, just in a few minutes, um, which will be really good to listen to. In the United States. Uh, well, he was an uh, English guy, Cal Pesh Patel. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, he's equivalent in America. Well, it seems like, I, I mean, I wouldn't even mind betting that um, Ryan Jew is actually hiding in America, going by what I saw today. 
but I don't know I, because it's like a friggin' jigsaw puzzle. I get all these bits and pieces. So I've just yeah. got a message literally right now from Sarah. Um, and and basically what she says is we need to get Sam to talk because I don't believe Sam Lee is actually anyone decent. Oh, he's a puppet. I've always said it. All these guys are puppets. Even I think oh, Brian Jew is yeah, way up the top. Guys. But I, I believe Sam's actually a bit of a victim, even though he's claiming he's Tell not. You, so it's really right. interesting, but they get the viewers. This is such an intricate <laughs> jigsaw puzzle. Thanks by those articles here, that have been published by hearts. Sarah, it has opened a hornet's nest. And yeah. since she's done the one about Stephen Reese Lewis, there's been 10 other articles published um, that have been from other, not major newspapers, but, you know, like, let's say, newsstands, the smaller ones. But the yeah. inquiries we're getting are really helping us break this down. Forget the friggin' yeah. police. Forget the lawsuits. Let the media involved. Let the them get interviewing the people man. like yourself. People don't want to tell their stories, Vera. Yeah. People are feeling like you are a bit silly. You, you know what? I, I think um, if, if they knew they had a chance to recoup some money, they may come forward. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's a fruitless exercise, really because there is no way you can. Well, um, we've tracked $6.7 million in the last four days that have been transferred. $2 million yesterday have been transferred from wallets that are associated with We Are or Satoshi to dormant wallets addresses that have been sitting there for 700 days. So they're siphoning the money. They're out. about to do this. Today they blocked me on Zoom. They reported me on Zoom. I lost my Zoom account. I have four of them. I got my main one back, which we're being interviewed on at the moment. Mm -hmm. But today they did what they call webinar mode. And when you logged in, my email address is wallpapered over the uh, over the screen. So if I broadcast, it will tell everyone my Zoom account, and they can go mm -hmm. back to Zoom and get me shut down. So I've mm -hmm. gone back to Zoom, and I've now got official. I, I gave a copy of my correspondence to the men in black in America, also to Sarah to follow up with. And Zoom, asking them why they're p providing a platform where people mm. can send out this shit and fool mum and dad investors. Mm. And mm. I think mm. it's like every action has a reaction. And, yes. I'm and there's one thing I can't tell you because Sarah tells me I'm not allowed to say anything and I've got a big mouth and I blurt things out. But someone's going to be locked up very soon. That's good. And it's going to be a domino good. effect. So yes, all these hard. Carl Miller guys that have been it's promoted tough. think they have a yeah. right to promote mm. this because no one's stopping. Uh, the sound's so bad, guys. I'm going to keep you entertained. This is a, a Twitter account that I got. Somebody messaged me because of the article that you see of Sarah Lee. The wee video that you can hardly see, which I might be able to go. One uh, 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 I can't. Sir, please don't do it. Let's go to the house. Let's go to the house. Where is the best place in the house? 那肯定是咱们现在客厅对面这个view。进门就能看见这边有一个无边的泳池啊。是说这边是不是有一个女明星的房子啊？对对对，这附近有很多明星。这是谁的房子？绿色的房子吗？啊，这是一个美国的一个
uh, and there's um, the Mega Force team. Now look at these photos, guys. They're, they're, here they are outside with armed guards like they're the mafia looking after the, This is all um, a security company showing what they do for people. These are probably stage photos, you know, hoping people will hire them. But what the person who contacted me, um, so this is the criminal network behind Ryan and the location of Ryan. But I don't believe so because it's in America. <laughs> and if that was the case, then he's meant to be hiding in America. And we've got that. So it doesn't make sense. Something's not right. But in saying that, we did go through the Twitter account and have a good look at it. Uh, and there's lots of clues in there. And there's even it's even got, um, you know, Sarah's, what am I trying to say here? Sarah's articles have been interlaced here. Talks about that Chinese politician, um, you know, and it's, there's lots of information that's just going up here. Six hours ago, this is brand new. No one's seen it, not even me. Um, there's three girls that keep emailing me, telling me they want... Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> um, but that's... You know, these are cryptic clues from someone who must be, you know, associated with them. And I'm tagged in the correspondence here, which is pretty cool. But I can't read Chinese. I have got a Chinese friend, which I'll give this to, who will translate it to me. But there's cryptic clues in this account so we're going to go through this if you guys want to go through it uh, have a look i don't believe in i should be the only person hello susie stealth nice to see you here i don't think i should be the only person that has access to this type of information because you can see the power of um the media and you can see here they are talking about we are also toshi um i've gone through it pretty extensively trying to get head or tail out of it but there's tons of clues here uh, you know, and as I said a few months ago, I actually want to find Ryan Jew. And that's what I did. I put my video out there. Um, you'll see if you go to my videos. I'm going to play the video. And, uh, there's, you'll see I've done this whole video and I showed people ex everything I know about um, Ryan Jew. People who are obviously with him. You know, and everything's like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm putting all the pieces out on the table in this video and I'm asking people to help me create a better, more clearer picture. And then all of a sudden you get, um, you know, a link, um, you know, a link just like that. I mean, so far we've found, we have found um, Ryan, sorry, we've found Stephen Reese lewis Why can't we find Ryan Jew? I mean, uh, you know, I'll be, you know, I'll be, pretty transparent with you I've, I've given this information to the irs and i get i get i got a love heart what the hell was not that work why doesn't that come up like it just did before boy sometimes i wonder if i'm the right person for this job is that going to work um yeah so um we found the real stephen reese lewis why can't we find Ryan Jew, let's go after the top dogs. You know, what What the hell's all this stuff? Um, I've seen this before. So, yeah, sometimes because I've seen this information before, I think it's old. You know, I don't know. Have a look through it. See if you can make head or tail out of it. I mean, this is literally 12-hour old information. Um, I would love to be able to pin the tail on the donkey and say to people that I at least contributed to finding Ryan Jew, um, because it's just um, pretty awesome. Now I've lost it again. I don't like my life today. It's not been nice, is it? I think I need to put that address in there, find that there, and then I can go back to it when I need to. But let's carry on listening to the awesome interview with Vera, if that sounds terrible. No. Well, Danny, I've got, I've got to say, by, by doing this interview with you, that creates a platform for me to go to the authorities, to go to the police and report Carl Miller, yep. you know, uh, to report um, uh, the people that got me involved in um, into Hyperverse in the beginning. Yeah, yep. Ben Hooper, who runs uh, um, Melbourne Pawnbrokers, he's licensed, you know, 
he he uh, extolled the fact during COVID that his business wouldn't have survived unless it was for Hyperverse. You know what a great thing it is, and, and he's very he was a very high up. He was a VIP five or four or five. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, he, he knew from day one what it was all about, but he extolled its virtues. And, you know, you thought, you know, he's a reputable businessman, he's licensed, he's, uh, he must know what he's talking about. And sort of um, after the Wall Street debacle, um, yeah, I fell into that, but purely upon his recommendation that you're right. So he had an underling uh, guide me through the process and set up my accounts and all of that. So I just want to go back a step first. So I'm, I'm... You've blown forty thousand dollars in two weeks. Somebody else handled your money. Yeah. They alleged that they bought yes. uh, diamonds, they bought oil, and they bought all the good stuff. And they came yeah. to you and they said, "Sorry, we're out of money. We've stuffed up." Yeah. Put, put in more money. Go to the bank. Get a personal loan. You know, refinance your house. They really, really encouraged me to go to the bank and do this and that. You know, it's shocking, isn't it? Here they are telling her how to finance her life so they can profiteer or steal her money. I mean, and these uh, voice clips I'm going to play you of Carl Miller, you know, coercing her. I mean, they will be used if Carl ever gets in a court. I want to be there in the courtroom and I want them to be playing these videos and I want them to be playing and listening to the sounds, the sound clips that Vera was clever enough to record. Carl Miller, I mean, I believe he's a lonely old man living in a a um, plot of land with old cars and old sheds and um, he's lonely and he's probably found his community like a lot of people that are part of these Ponzi schemes they found their community and this is their their, their thing I was brought up in a religious cult I, I know the power of being part of a community and how they you know how they manipulate your thinking and what you think is real I mean I think Carl Miller's lost all sense to what he's actually doing we found out the other day he's got a son. He's got a son involved in this boomerang trading. Um, I think it's Wayne. I'm not sure. But, um, you know, it's just, uh, I just think they think this is the new norm and they're allowed to do these Ponzi schemes. But as I said, you know, the four articles that we've got in the Guardian newspaper, thank you, Sarah Martin. There's a fifth article coming out showing you that, that things are, people are going to be, held accountable for their actions. So my video at one o'clock today is going to be pretty, uh, I'm going to show you the rise and fall of two people. They're about to fall, but I'm not going to tell you what, anything about the fall, but I'm going to show you the rise. Now, these videos I'm going to play are actually amazing to me because I haven't looked at these videos uh, for about a year. And I'm watching them now and I'm recognizing people in this videos and this criminal network is getting smaller and smaller to me. And the picture's getting clearer and clearer. So this is all because people like Vera spoke out and told her story. What about your story? Is your story that missing piece in the jigsaw puzzle? Is that uh, ever-ending question I always ask people when they come to me, who was your sponsor? I'd rather not say because they're a family friend. Well, that's, that's where this thing hits the brick walls. Speak out. Go to my website. It will pop up on the screen about now. There's a Contact Us page. You can go to it, use anonymous at gmail.com as your email address, and I don't ever have to know where the information come from. Just give me your sponsor's name, who got you into it. I don't care if it's your brother, sister, nephew, nephew auntie, whatever it is, because it normally is, uh, and let us put that jigsaw puzzle piece in the picture. No, and I thought, you're crazy. You know, now, now you really are. So I, I know exactly you, what you are. Didn't they give you $10,000 of their and then what happened, they did. what happened with that money? Uh, and I, tr I traded it. Well, uh, May, after this, uh, this... Uh... So the chat room's open, and I've got Susie Stealth in there, and I haven't checked the messages this morning, and I don't think I'll be broadcasting the We Are Satoshi meeting after this um, replay of the interview I'm doing because I don't see the point unless something changed. But we will tune in and have a wee listen. But, oh, my God, Danny, $7.2 million routed from those shady wallets approximately seven hours ago into new wallets and eventually into the wallet which is the main wallet for i think that's what we're thinking is hyperverse isn't it there's an address there there is was a uh out of binance oh, no, i gotta listen to this this is like you're getting it live ladies and gentlemen from there is was siphoned out to binance hot wallet 7 and likely has disappeared 
$7.2 million of USDT. Right, so people who are criticising me and the Avengers for not knowing what we're talking about, the Boomerang scheme, this is from Boomerang, has actually, and I'm not sure, 7.2 has been transferred. We track $6.7 million have been transferred. Is this an addition and above, or is this a t grand total? Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. But remember, Hyperverse was a, a $1.3 billion scam, going by what the reporters are saying in the newspaper. I believe it's a $4 billion scam. And here we are, we've been... We've tracked and we've proven that all these companies are working out of the same building. We've also now found all the money and it's all linked together as one entity. So even though they're saying that Boomerang is different to We Are Satoshi and VAV and, um, you know, Vidi Look and uh, Stable Deo, um, even I really am desperately hoping we can link financially We We Global and the blockchain era all together. They're all one entity, one organisation. In total, uh, that has been in the last two or three days, uh, Crypto G and Susie must be in that loop as well, have actually tracked $7.2 million. So Chavez was in on front of the computer about three or four days ago claiming that they uh, they'd, uh, they'd brought in a million dollars worth of sales. Straight away, the very next day, we tracked $6.7 million had been transferred around from the entity or the crypto wallets. Now, how do we know that? Because we're clever. <laughs> We've got clever people in our networks because they've been showing everyone how this uh, boomerang system works. And we've been watching the wallet addresses. Now, everything's on the blockchain can be followed. And then we're watching, we've, we've found the wallet address of Hyperverse. We've found the wallet address of um, We Are Satoshi. We've even found the wallet addresses of Diversal, which is what Vera's talking about here. So even though we might, people might think, oh, Hyperverse is a long time ago. It's not. It's happening right now. Some of the wallet addresses money is going into have been dormant for 700 days. The, the Hyperverse wallet address that we're looking at has been created since uh, since 2019. Uh, so it's just absolutely wicked here. Um, it came to me, did it, Rob? <laughs> Crypto G. So this is real-time stuff, guys. This is, um, this is address ending with already tagged uh, as exchange it could be well it could be going to pool and boomerang so we're just tracking stuff and we're having a bit of fun along the way but why doesn't the organizations that fight these criminal networks do more than give me a friggin love heart when i send them this information as their way of saying thanks i don't know i don't i don't think these organizations really care I don't. I, I know they're busy. I get it. But we we've got real. We've got. I've gone to them and said we've got more information than you can poke a stick at about these transactions. We've got video evidence of people, you know, doing this stuff. I mean, look at the background picture. If I hit the right button, hopefully, there's Carl Miller. In for thirty five minutes, Carl Miller's going to be on a Zoom meeting pushing a Ponzi scheme that's just taken seven point two million dollars off mum and dad investors. And here's a lady sitting in front of my camera telling me that she has actually been out with lunch with Carl Miller. And we've got recordings of Carl Miller doing this. So why isn't the ATO contacting me and asking me for this information or proof or access to my, my database? My database is friggin' amazing. Uh, I'm proud of my database. So if we go here... We will see, um, here's the recordings that I'm going to play you in a few minutes. This is Carl Miller talking to this uh, to Vera. We're going to play those. Here's a Carl, Carl's pay slip. I won't enlarge it because then he'll complain to YouTube and say that I've plastered his personal details over the internet. Um, but I've got his home address. Um, I've got him handing out um, brochures in the Melbourne train station. And here he is on his bike. I've got his all his details, his email address, his phone number and the like. Then we've got Janet, who was meant to be the mastermind above him, who went to Dubai. Uh, here's a, you know, this is the type of evidence we've got. What sort of evidence do we need to provide? Look, here they are, business class, on the way to Dubai to go to a We Are All Satoshi meeting with 40 of the scammers. Um, you know, and the other one which I wanted to show you is, I mean, let's keep it real, but let's go to 
why that's loading. I want to go to Joe. Now, Joe is the other guy that's working, holding hands with Carl at the moment. And um, when that loads, so I have over 130 people. Uh, oh, well, there's some, there's some brilliant photos. I didn't know we had those there. Uh, so here we got, um, there's Janet. There's uh, Kate Longley. Uh, there's Yvonne Henry in the middle there. She's the one that looks like a whale. There's the swimming pool. Now, this was meant to be a hotel where the, Sam Lee, well, Gobi told everyone that 500 prisoners had been released to Sam Lee's care, given a job and money and accommodation and food um, after being released by the uh, United Arab president, I think I got that right, whatever you call him, and they were released into the care and they all went out for dinner. And this was a story they told. Now, Sam Lee's not a billionaire, so that was a lie. And everyone in that room was going to be made a billionaire. That was a lie. And um, you can see that these guys are rampant. So these guys are here in Dubai plotting uh, everything they're doing. I must move those photos over to a more exciting um, uh, a more exciting area. And the other one that I'm going to show you, because I can, uh, is Joe. Now, Joe's the guy that's been thinking he's cleverer than me and trying to ban me on Zoom. And Zoom seems to be listening to him at the moment, but not for much longer, Joe, because we've now got some really hot emails going back and forth. Um, now, is that? Come on, where's these photos gone? Screenshots. <clears throat> Go the wrong one. Let's try images. So wouldn't this be condemning? So these are photos of everyone in We Are Satoshi. Well, let's just call it the hyper, I'm going to call it hyper tech group because that's the organization behind it. And I actually think I found the actual organization behind it yesterday, the actual official name that's still in operation. But these photos here condemn anyone that you see in these Zoom meetings. So there's a lady in the Zoom meetings who I felt sorry for <laughs> because she's got this scar on her face. Uh, and I now call her scar face and no empathy. And she's in this picture. I'm just going to flip through some of these photos. I mean, you know, I literally recognize these people in these videos going way back to hyper fun days. Uh, this lady on the left uh, does merch. This lady in the second, and she's providing information. Um... Uh, she's running the Zoom meetings. He's the muffled guy, Sam Lee. I don't know who this guy is, but I've seen him enough times I should do. Um, you know, and we've just got photos of Sam Lee, Gobi. Uh, there's the lady with the scar on the face there. Um, you know, she's an actress. You know, she's here promoting this Ponzi scheme. They just, you know, the, um, Lucky's in there. Uh, we've got Susan Lawrence. Now, they're doing an article on Des Amy and Susan Lawrence in the video I'm going to do at 1 o'clock today, which is... Uh, to put it in perspective for you, that will be five and a half hours from now, uh, uh, New, New Zealand one o'clock. You'll see it on the things uh, on my YouTube channel. Be notified. That one there is going to show you some videos, which you will be really surprised to see the videos I've got of Bitcoin Rodney and Brenda Chunga. And I'm going to show you a lot of these faces that you think are new are actually old. And there's people in here that have been doing this for years. This is the criminal network. So let's go back to the video. But the other one I wanted to show you was George. Now, George is now running the Boomerang meetings. And he, um, we had a hilarious video the other day where they thought they, um, I'd got over, I've got myself onto their Zoom meeting, yelled down the phone. And then they cut me out. They went, yeah, we got him. Yay. And there's only 25 people in the Zoom meeting. And I was broadcasting it in two, two Zoom connections. Uh, also, the whale, I call it the whale, but Yvonne Henry. So what I'm going to do. While we are listening, I'm actually going to listen to Vera and I'm going to have the phone ringing and I'm going to actually ring up these people. Um, we'll just carry on listening to Vera. This shock um, to the system. I read all about trading, all you know, all about MetaTrader 4 and 5. And, oh, it sounds flash. Uh, sorry? It sounds flash. Yes, yeah. Well, it's just an app, basically, and I read about them, but they'll, they'll provide services of their app to any, for anything. But anyway, I used the 10000 um that Wall Street Live gave me, and I did what the trader, you know, I did the opposite to what the trader did. I did the opposite to what Matthew Warner did. I sold high, I bought low, sold high, bought low. It's not rocket science, you know, really. And um, I amassed them out close to 100000 And I said, well... I then contacted their head office, you know, in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom must be a suburb of Cyprus. 
And um, I said, well, what about it? Charge me interest. You know, 50% will go halves on it. Still believing it was a real uh, platform of some sort, you know, not just a computer-generated yeah. uh, platform for my benefit. Smoking and nice. Yeah. And, and they said, no, um, you know, put in 10000 of your money and then we'll give you what you faded. I thought, no, I didn't fall into it again. I thought, yeah. no. And no, it, no, no. What just happened is, is how people get trapped. I, I had a person tell me, oh, I'm so sorry about the sound, guys. It pisses me off more than you know. Um, is that address there? Is that the address that I should give the men in black? The one that you just saw on the screen? Uh, is that, how do we find the money on that one? Six hours ago. Uh, I'm definitely the wrong person to be doing this, aren't I? Yes, all right. I'm going to just flip that to them now. Uh, I'm going to keep listening to my bad recording. Don't laugh at my bad recording, Rob. But I do want to get this one off my back because this one's been in the queue for three months. The process is free. I'm going to listen to your message. They put $140,000 into a, a hotel reservation a, a program, and the guy got so hooked into it, he went and borrowed seventy thousand dollars of free and told that them that he was so remortgaging his finance, and, and he just needed some capital in his bank account so the bank would approve the loan, IRS? thinking he could trade out of it. So then he lost one hundred and forty thousand dollars and seventy thousand of friends' money. Oh, but you, 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 you would probably understand how machine. easy that is to you get so oh. lured into it. Yes. You know. Yes. Yeah. And he would be suicidal, you know. This is the, the the horrible, you know, black, terrible thing out of all of this. There would be so many people that just couldn't live with themselves oh. because they've not only lost their own money, but those of family and friends, which oh. these scammers encourage you to get, in, you know, involve you, you, your family and friends. I, I had the and pleasure you, of telling yeah. a lady by the name of May Samavu that she's a murderer. And she's responsible yes, for people taking their own lives. And she goes, yes. oh, you can't say that. And I said, no, I can. Because I, because it happens. Well, when I was in the New York Times, an organisation reached out to me who had been following one Ponzi scheme and they had tracked 11 people who had died by suicide after the detrimental effects that the scam had on them. 11 yeah. people. Yeah. Is that, that's the 11 that we know about, you know? Yeah. Oh, in, in America, you know, I watched a, um, a doc on Bernie Madoff. I mean, he is the scammer of scammers. He's Mr. Ponzi. Uh, uh, second floor. <laughs> Do you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> the first floor was a proper company. The, the second floor was a friggin' scam, archaic, paper trail, stupid company. Was, that was a fantastic Netflix documentary to watch, wasn't it? Yeah. Unbelievable. And he made himself exclusive to people who had lots of money. He wouldn't take on everybody. He would only take on the whales. Yes, yeah. And, and he had, you know, he had such as is is the ignorance or ap apathy, arrogance of wealth. You know, um, he had investors with millions of dollars with him, but just let it grow, leave it there, let it grow. You yeah. know, leave it there, let it grow. If if you're not missing millions of dollars. Well, I say to those people, you deserve to lose it because yeah. you just have too much money. Why, why do you think people are so hell-bent at letting other people look after their money? Why are they? Well, sorry? Why, do, why do people hand over their money? Oh, uh, this is bloody awesome. I don't know. I don't know. With, with, because they, they doubt their own ability, their own level of intelligence, yeah. their own understanding right, of the product, the and bees, the, they'll leave it to the expert or... You know, this this person has studied it, knows what they're talking about, knows what they're doing, mm. and, and um, Thanks, Susie. you know, basically they fall into I've it to them you know but the fault of being human. Um, it's a human you nature that you 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 trust. You have no reason to chat. mistrust them, and so you trust them <laughs> with it, with that to do the right that. thing, to do the, the job that they say they're doing. If you look up the meaning of um, expert in the dictionary, it is, it is actually a drip under pressure. Okay, so you put in $40,000. They gave you $10,000 of their own money. You made $100,000 doing what you knew yeah. best. And yeah. then they told yeah. you if you wanted the money that you created, they wouldn't give it to you unless you put in another 10000 Correct. Right. So yeah. that's that scheme. Yeah. 
So then yeah. along come Hyperverse. That's right. And yeah. you put 45,000 into Hyperverse. Hey, Rob, do you like my sound? Correct, yes. And, where, and that was from the porn broker? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Ben Hooper, Melbourne porn brokers, he told me any shop during COVID because, you know, they had lockdowns. It, it ran various times, you know, the state government, Dan Andrews, in his wisdom, thank God he's no longer running the state, but in his wisdom, it was just locked down overnight, the whole state. No, no one can go anywhere, you yeah. know, in an effort to contain COVID. Um, so his business was was not doing well because it was no there was no traffic. So, so once bitten, twice shy, most people will be probably thinking, what made you think that this time, what was the distance between I, I, I knew the person, you know, yeah. admittedly I didn't know him well, but I thought he's a reputable businessman. I know, I know where his shop is, yep. you know, I I know how to, to, to reach him so there's nothing sort of secret. So why, you know, I sort of tended more to believe him because why would I not? Yeah. And, and what you just said, everybody should listen to what Vera just said. It was somebody she trusted. It was either a family member or a friend or somebody who's real has said to yes. her, this is a good thing. So you took yes. him on his word and you would probably think, well, if it's good enough for him, it's yes. good enough for me. Exactly. Is that simple? Exactly. Enough? Yeah. And, and we were on the street. We were in his shop, in, in his place of business. So, you know, he's, he wasn't going to pack up and run away. He, he would be there. And I thought, well, if he's putting it out there, if he's putting himself, you know, on behalf of his business out there to tell me this is a good thing, well, that to me seemed a lot more credible. Yeah. So... Uh, and as I said, he extolled the virtue of this is great and it does this, it does that, you get your money back, uh, you know, you'll make X times money. And I, I, I was finding it quite incredible at his explanation, actually. Oh, but he Thank said th th his own business now. wouldn't have survived unless he got involved with it. Wow. And little did I know about the hierarchy oh, and he was I, a bit off the sense that you're, at the moment you're beating yourself up about this. Yeah, I just want to say, you, um, you know, it really is. It's, it's, it's. I've heard this story quite a few times, and mm. it's just, it's, an, it's like going through grief, isn't it? You get, get angry, disbelief, um, the five stages of grief yes. you're going yeah. through. I mean, and also, yeah. um, you know, easy come, easy go comes to mind. But this, this is your livelihood. This is your people are taking out their superannuation money yeah. and investing in these schemes hoping to build themselves yeah. a bigger nest egg. I mean, you, yes. that's basically what you've done. You've taken out all that. Yes, correct. Yes. Boom. Yeah. And, and okay, I got scammed by a, um, an image and uh, by strangers, but now, you know, and it was just a random interaction and and he was extolling all the virtues of Hyperverse and, and you know, I was none the wiser that it was a Ponzi scheme and, and, you know, I was eventually going to lose my money. He had been in it long enough and was high enough up the road that he would have made a lot of money already. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I, I tracked from Overburst that 52% of the money that went into the platform went out to pay the people that were promoting it in the different levels. So 52% so of 45000 is a big payday, isn't it? Yeah, he would have got 20% of that. And then yeah. if, if you referred somebody into it, he would have got an no. additional... No, but if you did, yes, or just yes, make yes. it clear that you didn't refer anyone else into it. No, but if you did, he would have got an additional fifteen percent. Oh wow! Yeah, and it just yeah. keeps going, and then it goes ten percent, five percent, two percent, three, whatever it is. Mind you, his underling Adrian Wentz set me up with about sixteen accounts, fourteen to sixteen accounts. Okay, so yeah. I sort of had had my uh, accounts. He had under accounts, but they're all me. Yeah, but he set them all up, you know, and he said, "This is you, this is a way you should do it. This is a, a, a benefit to you, to maximum." And uh, you know, I had no reason to disbelieve, and I thought maybe this is a good thing. And you know what? When I could make it, started making withdrawals, I thought, "Hallelujah!" You know, there is a God, yeah. and and He is feeling sorry for Jesus. me. And this, you know, it started to to happen and then all of a sudden it just stopped because you actually you know? managed to claw back twenty three thousand dollars out of the yeah. hyperverse system 
Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Now, I wish I'd gone health leather from day one, you know, but of course, you know, hindsight's a, a always a profitable thing, but it didn't know what was happening at the time. But because I could do that, I, I, I believe that this is uh, the real deal. Yep. But I, I was not confident enough and couldn't explain it, thank God. Um, I couldn't explain it, what a Ponzi scheme was. Mm. Yeah, I could not explain it. I suppose now that you put a word to it, um, a title to it, Ponzi, um, people could have looked up what that scheme, that word, and, you know, it would have been an automatic no. Yeah, yeah? I mean, it's really simple. They robbed Peter to pay who? Paul, oh, to pay Ben Hooper, to pay <laughs> Sam Lee, to oh, pay dear. Ryan Zerf, and whoever else is in on that VIP level, you know. So um, after that, God, where did Carl so Miller come into it? Okay, Carl Miller, Carl Miller. Well, Tremendous you know, I, I couldn't believe that room, all guys. my high um, uh, um withdrawals were all pending. And, uh, uh, you know, Miller, it was locked and I'd, I'd made phone calls to, to Adrian, the, the underling who set me all up, and he said, I'm in the same boat, we haven't heard, you know, they're supposed to be having a, an uh, announcement a then, and, you know, it was just in limbo. Um, and then there was that app, um, which will be money leaving, uh, uh, the purple. Yeah, tell me if I'm wrong, guys, but this is actually money that's been collected from dormant wallets, money collected in from We Are All Satoshi's boomerang service and the like, and now they're trying to transfer it out into a hot wallet in Binance, uh, which is just um, real-time moving money around, taking money off the platform after selling $10,000 packages um, to these people. It must be frustrating for a crypto G watching me trying to navigate my around. Capture the... Capture the hashtag for the transaction ID. Hashtag. Hmm. What does he mean by that? So that's a hot wallet address, which is where the money sits. So am I right that we won't be able to see this? Well, we can see it. So is that $256,000 or is that $256 million? And why do I have this job? It's a shit ton of money anyway. The hashtag is for the movement from the wallet. <laughs> God, you guys are good. Okay, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> oh, damn, I didn't have this job. Oh, dear. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, all I was going to do is ring up and abuse Carl on the phone. All right, what am I searching for, guys? This is That's a long hur of a address to follow. That's the main wallet. Oh God! Is it? Um, can we do this? Is that stupid? Um, successful. Seven hours ago. Seven point two million dollars. What am I looking at, guys? It should contact Binance and freeze their assets. It's just uh, you know, it's actually this might sound really dumb, but I feel like crying. Because this is just so sad that we can't stop it, but we can see it. And probably us publicising the fact isn't helping either because they'll be now moving at haste. But I am actually, um, you know, freeze the account. Uh, you know, I am actually talking to, I'm talking to the um, the big guys. <laughs> but no one's replying because they'll probably be in bed not reading their telegram or their, their um, signal accounts. But it's going there. Um, best to have all right. So, what do I do? I will carry on listening to Vera because she's quite soothing at the moment. <laughs> and what's what is it? I can't think of the app, there's so many of them WhatsApp, Telegram, um, oh, Discord. That's it, Discord. Yeah. Discord. And he's still uh, rampant th in that th that's... today, funny enough. Sorry? He still uses Discord. I hate Discord. I can't use it. I can't get my head around it. Yeah. He uses I still it. think Crypto Dundee on it yep. because there was the Aussie flag there. I mean, it's a mumbo jumbo full of, um, you know, NFT pictures and um, various, you know, one line comments. 
and also the Aussie the flag there, and uh, Carl Miller, and that's how I got involved with him through the... As an audio message. All right, so Carl's blocked me because of my phone number, so I'll just go and turn my phone number. If you want to know how to turn your phone number to private, go into your phone. It's got show my caller ID. If you turn that off like that, then when you ring up people like Carl Miller, which you'll see me doing in a second, go back to my phone, I've actually set up a, you'll see that now I will be able to ring him. The person you are calling is not available. Please leave a short. So he's learned to turn his phone off, but let's ring up George and see if he answers. Why that's ringing we will let vera continue platform on discord yeah so can you help you, you handed over more money to carl I'm miller Fifteen thousand. Oh, because the only way to get my money from hyperverse was to create a hibernation account Boom. Rinse and repeat yeah. again. yes and yes carl yes would have and for that too. that's kate well Oliver. carl miller i can Honestly, charged with obtaining property by deception. I can have access. It was a WordPress page. Um, it's gone. It's like my money's gone. I put it into his pocket, virtually. I'm on a uh, yeah, right now. I, can, I can't even access an account to show what details were there. Hi. The person you have called is not the available. Please so leave you know Charles still. on the dole, and he gets $738.60 a fortnight. Unbelievable. You know, I, I would go, I've never been on social security. I would love to, you know, face to face with somebody that could do I, something about it. There I'm must be a fraud here. section mm. within the uh, government system of benefits, you know. To... I bring them, them up. I spend an hour on the phone. Lady picks up the phone and she goes, oh, you're in the wrong department. I'm sending that to say, I'll like, transfer you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, but you know he gets up at 4 a.m every morning and he is now the chief uh technical officer for boomerang and oh. i've heard on the grapevine that oh, he gets paid guys. like 300 dollars a week oh, to provide actually, support why don't we send that to sarah as well um, would and i idea? would have phoned him probably 300 times and on meetings, when I see him there, I ring him up and he goes, oh, the idiot, de is ringing, is ringing me again. You know, he makes fun of me. Good job, But Scott. I yeah. know. If, if, now, there's a possibility goes, oh, um, that an organisation in America well, is flying all the way that. over to Australia to talk to the ATO. And that company or that organisation is pitching me million to go over to Australia and meet the ATO and discuss the people in Australia that have finance. been running these Ponzi schemes. Yes. And I'm thinking yes. finance what to deal with. But if they do, I'll be there with How bells on. Ago, and Carl Miller well, will be the guy that rolls around hot uh, the most wallet. in my vocabulary. Um, yes. Oh, oh, look, I'll let, I will report him. Apparently there's... Uh, um the police line is it's acorn.com yep. you can report them and money smart through asic uh you can report scammers that's two websites but whatever website i can i can report him to i will yeah and we're actually making a huge difference vera i mean honestly we we have Are got we making a huge we've difference, got guys? we found out We've tracked the money all the way from Hyperverse right up to Boomerang, and we've proved that these organisations financially so, are all connected. And yeah. the secondary yeah. thing is we've found out all these scams are coming out of the scammed. same office in Dubai. And that mm. is three days old information, I'm telling you. And the, the, the Avengers, as we call them, are sitting there going, oh, my God, we've found the wallet addresses of all these Ponzi schemes, guys? and now they're oh all God. connected. We've found the wallet addresses. And people mm. are going, we've even got <laughs> the funds from... Yeah. Hyperverse funding. Stop making me ring up. People. Um, we are all Satoshi was... to keep it going, mm -hmm. and uh, for, you know we've just got everything. And now I'm trying to get people. So you, you know, like Sarah's photos. brilliant. She really has what, actually shined what's that? Because a light a on what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, they won't link to me because I'm, I'm a, like too risky. They might get sued if they promote Danny to hit because Danny's out there telling the world that he doesn't care. <laughs> you know, but I mean, I, honestly, Vera, I mean, you've spoken out. You put your name, your reputation. Uh, you... Absolutely, because I'm telling the truth. Put me in a court of law and give me two Bibles. I will yeah. swear that what I'm saying, you know.
is the truth. Yeah. And, and people have to know the truth. And you know, and hopefully, and, and it is an ego thing. It's it's you head just gets so jumbled in not knowing what to do with it. It's the right thing to do, um, but I, I think um, it, it's almost um, um, what do you call it when you um, when when you talk when you say anything out loud. It's, it's like you're my psychologist, right? Yeah, I'm talking to you as my yeah, psychologist, telling now, you everything that's happened yeah. that I've contained. It's, it's actually therapy. It is. Yeah. It is. Hey, yeah. Vera, I've got, I've, I've got a list. My Zoom connection is stuffed up. I yeah. need to disconnect and reconnect to you. For some reason, uh, I have lost my, my paid subscription and it's going to finish in a minute. Can we okay. can we reconnect on the same link and then yes. carry this on? And that means no, to go to the loo as well. And then we'll... Okay. Well, I want to ask you about VAV, all right? All right, yep. All right. I'll see you next I don't want to ask you Carl Miller's social security details, okay? <laughs> That'll help me with my report if I can give them numbers. I can give you yeah? a pay slip from the... Um, the okay. I'll see Thanks. you in a second. Just reconnect on the same link, and if not, I'll message right. you. All right. See you in a bit. Right, we're back. We've just had a, okay. a Zoom moment. I've gone and got myself a beer. Vera's, yep. Vera's back, and we're I've back into this coke. indeed. Yeah. She's still on the coke, but we're going to learn about VAV, which is um, life after hypernation. Yes. Okay, so I've just yep. got to I've just got to groom this this thought into people's heads. You have lost money on the trading platform. Learned that was mm -hmm. a mistake. You've invested, let's say, forty five thousand into Hyperverse. Managed to claw back twenty three thousand. Mm -hmm. Lost that. Put fifteen thousand dollars into Hyper Nation. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you're now. I was going to say so of Carl Miller. Yep, Carl Miller's enticed you to do that, and then Carl Miller, mm -hmm. which I'm after this recording. When I do this, I'm going to play the recordings that you've shared with me of Carl Miller. The voice recordings, correct? Yep. Yeah, and I Don't want to listen to before. Just something interesting there, guys. I'm just showing you um, uh, right here on my YouTube channel here. I'm not plugging my own YouTube channel, but I have done some amazing jobs. These four videos along the bottom here of Sam Lee. Um, you know, this is this is primetime stuff when I look back now. Listen to this. I don't want to go 10x, 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 10x in knowledge on everybody when everybody's not ready for it. Give me one thing you want me to talk about. The thing is, the future is coming towards us and what we have is our money to exchange for more money in the future, okay? The future is coming towards us. That is something that cannot be stopped. So as the future moves towards us and money gets... Not really the one I was thinking of, but my point is I've got the whole timeline of all these scams and all the lies and, you know, Sam walking through the buildings, telling him he's a billionaire and he's got 5,000 staff and he leases eight buildings. I mean, even saying that sounds really weird, me saying it, but this is what he's telling people. Uh, you've got when Vidilok uh, lost all their money and they come up with an exit strategy. Uh, we found Keith Williams' $3 million, $3 million pound house. We've got Uncle Dan, Sam wants your data is when, he's, uh, when he stole everyone's money from VAV. We've got um, where Sam was trying to start up Hyperverse again, now claiming he has nothing to do with Hyperverse. And then um, and then you've got Sam telling people that he's uh, got 500 prisoners released to his care and he's a philanthropist. And, um, and then we've just got video after video of all these things. Now, what do you think? If this criminal, if just use Danny logic here, what do you think if this criminal network is actually all one criminal network? What do you think the money they've managed to get seven point two million dollars out of um, Boomerang or Where or Satoshi? Is that where the money's coming from, guys? Is that what we're talking about? And it's all been transferred into a hot wallet in Binance to be stolen out. So some philanthropist guy out there, who's not a philanthropist, has just taken seven point two million dollars off the platform and siphon that out into a hot wallet, which is going to disappear if the men in black don't do something about it urgently. This is groundbreaking stuff for the Avengers. We're just a small team of people who work their butts off with no reward, really. And now we're watching this money just go through our fingers. And it's heartbreaking. It's kind of like, somebody stop this. And here's somebody like Vera, who's contributed $100,000 into crypto investments, 
and lost a lot, who's your mum and dad investors, who's a good, honest business lady, who's worked friggin' hard to get what she's got, and then she's used her mortgage money to invest in these, this, this thing, who used her equity in her, her property, and then people like Carl Miller have come along and stolen that money from her. And in six minutes, Carl Miller will be getting out of bed at six o'clock in the morning going, I love my life, I, I scam people for a living. And that's why we've got his photo exposed. We're exposing these bastards. Because if the people like the Men in Black or the ATO or the IRD, as we call them, um, are letting people like Keith Williams live in their £3 million house and claw back $2.1 million from him after his involvement in Hyperverse, it's incredible. Wait until you see my next video I'm going to be doing in five hours' time where I'm actually going to show you the the rise of Bitcoin Rodney and the rise of, uh, what's that name, Bitcoin Beauty. And I'm going to show you how this all began. It's fascinating. I've just gone through and got some public videos, which I'm going to play to you guys, uh, which are just breathtaking. When, you, when you've when you been researching this as much as someone like myself, I now, I've got uh, footage of um, Troy and um, David... Um, Chandler, they're on this promotional tour with Bitcoin Rodney and Brenda Chunga. And I've got two videos which look like they're, they're separate, filmed at the same time, promoting each person's own entity. And now things are starting to happen. People's heads are starting to roll. And it's going to be a domino effect. So Carl Miller, who's beefing up the computer, getting ready to look for Danny DeHeck in the Zoom meeting, who's not going to be there today, Carl, so you can have a day off are trying to block people like me from broadcasting to people like you to show you how rampant these Ponzi schemes and scams are. And he will be counting his days before the ATO knocks on his door and says, you're unemployed. You receive an employment benefit of $738.60 because Bob, Bill, George managed to bring his payslip up on the screen and broadcast it to the world. <laughs> and the funny thing about that, a, a document, um, I'm actually using that document to report um, things as Carl, using, when they ask me for proof of my identity, I give them my payslip, <laughs> which is his payslip. Crazy. Anyway, there's a different story. Let's not go there. Before and after. So what we we listen to with the four video will be actually hearing Carl Miller being really oh, cool. nice and yes. really supportive and really yep. informative. And then the second one is him sort of backing up the bus, claiming that, you know, we, we, we're all in the same boat, which is yes. exactly the same story. All of these bastards, like Carl Miller, tell people like Vera, and they try to say that the Titanic is sinking, and I'm in the life raft with you, but I've lost more than you, so you should mm. be empathetic to mm. people like Carl Miller. Which I'm sure I can't believe he was handing out leaflets at a train station. He should have been on the railway track. <laughs> he should have been. He said he used to work for the railways, you know. Well, in that so. case, maybe he should have been on top of the train when it went under a low bridge. Just yeah. So th this is actually breathtaking. So that's George, Carl, and and um, what do you call it, Kate? And they're literally at a train station with a, what looks like an official badge around them saying, Carl Miller, and you scammed me for we are all Satoshi. I mean, how do I say this any other way? But what the fuck? Are these guys that ballsy that they think that this is a legitimate platform they can promote? I mean, I, I've, I've said it time and time again. Like, if you uh, go to, we'll just get rid of this, and I've got to, I'm going to catch up with the notes in a minute, guys. I'm just... I just want to bring up this, um, oh, really? You want to play this game with me now? Where is my, um, hold up. Just got to get rid of some of the fun photos I've been finding of people lately on my desktop so I can get back to my, my one and only document that I always like to put on the screen. Um, maybe that will do it. Oh, hold up. One minute, please call up. Oh. No, it's not going to be nice. Come on, you've got this, Danny. I've got uh, Stephen Reese, um, Stephen Reese, whatever his name is, Stephen Reese Lewis pictures all over my desktop because when I found that guy, 
um, I didn't want to, I was so panicking to get all the photos of him onto my database before he shut down his Facebook page, which I would have done if I was half a brain. But this is the, the document that is the, you know, anytime you need this document, just search for State of California warning against We Are Satoshi and you'll find it linked on the government website. But this is actually the cease and refrain order. Now, this is six pages. This talks about not just Sam Lee, but it talks about We Are All Satoshi. So then you've got Carl here at a bus uh, train station encouraging people to invest or get involved in We Are Satoshi. I mean, are these guys mental? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Look at them. So here's a lady that's invested $18,000 um, because... Um, he's advised her to do so. She's lost a hundred thousand dollars, but a, a big majority. There's there's the actual name of the company that he told Vera to put three thousand US dollars into, Rhino Trading PTV Limited. So that that was because they gave her a bank account, and then the bank account name popped up, and that that was the company the money was going into. So you know, it's just um, eye watering to see what happens. And obviously, um, you know, Carl has been involved in Hyperverse and Stable Deo and uh, We Are All Satoshi and um, Vidi Look and MLM and Vend and uh, anything that slimes out of Sam Lee. And he's also, we've got video footage of him coercing with Sam Lee. He, he told Vera in one of these recordings that if... Uh, if if they find out that Danny DeHeck, yes me, is going to the Melbourne crypto event, that Sam Lee was going to fly over and meet Danny DeHeck, De Danny DeHeck in person. That's literally what he told him. And I'm going, I'm not going over there to meet Sam Lee, and Sam Lee wouldn't care about me. And and if he wants to reach out to me, why does he not talk to me when I crash his Zooms and I see him in there? Absolutely crazy. Anyway, let's hear Vera. We've got a wee bit to go, kids. We're getting there. Same. Yeah. He could, yeah, that's what he deserves, honestly. That's what he deserves. And I, I just I cannot understand this man has an ego that's bigger than Ben Hur that he keeps going and going and into it gets sucked into all of these things and, and is just becoming stronger and, and yeah. you know, more involved. He's and the he's chief, an IT guy. He is the chief um what do they call him? Chief um technical uh tech Tech, the tech, the head tech guy in this new thing called um, Boomerang. And Chavez loves him. Chavez thinks he's just brilliant. Oh, he's, he's a slick character now. He, he's still got no <laughs> last name. But, you know, he, he this should be just a, a walk in the park for him because he started his own corporation. So I've just tuned in. To, uh, be a part of this uh, vast VRO Satoshi systems and BTCC blockchain mining, as well as so I'm I'm also one to, of the um, trainers on the. There's no uh, point Bumeran in us going to a concept. webinar where they're so trying to being preach privileged to be a part of such um, a, this Ponzi scheme to people. But I have got it. I have been able to get hear. most of knowledge on this in systems uh, and, and today there's nothing we are I can do about the same um, knowledge keeping my privacy and having my email the on the screen. But I use Triway accounts anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But the point is that these guys right now, Carl Miller will be in this group. Um, I don't even think you can actually um, see who's in this meeting. This has just gone webmaster mode, so you don't even know how many people are actually in here. Um, I can raise my hand and see what happens, but um, I'll just keep it here for a wee while. You can go into the chat room, and the chat room's been disabled. Well, there's no there's no questions in there. And together, and we will been, to, and together we will change the know, mindset. Basically being gaslighted into investing money. money. So obviously what they've gone into, I mean, I, they, they've come up with, a, just in short, they've come up with a platform called Boomerang where you can actually get discrepancies of anything from $1 to $5 from using what they call a flash loan money. So they might, if you borrowed $500 of flash loan money, and you transfer it from one exchange to another, there's often a discrepancy and it can range in it from a dollar to five dollars. So you sit there literally for hours and hours and hours trying to get those one dollar and two dollars. It's like going through your money box collecting money. Now to have the privilege of doing so, they just did this big release where they were um, 
basically letting pay people pay ten thousand dollars and you would get uh, fifty thousand dollars to play with and get used to the platform. On March the first, they're going to re basically they told everyone on March the first they're going to release the package that people pay ten thousand dollars for and you'll get three million dollars worth of uh, what they call flash loan to basically do arbitrage training with. So everyone's been in there playing with their $50,000. One guy made $50,000 disappear within 24 hours and made um, 600 and um, 600 and oh, I forgot what it was, $657, I think, from his $50,000 worth of trading, and then he used it up. And they said, oh, well, if you want another uh, $50,000 flash money to play with, you need to deposit another $10,000. It was ridiculous. Anyway, so he said, oh, I haven't got another $10,000. He's only just managed to scrape together this $10,000, which is horrifying for me to hear. And now he has to wait to the 1st of March. What do you think is going to happen on the 1st of March? The platform's going to fall over. Or, or everyone's money, everyone's going to realise that they paid $10,000 for a, a, a money box collection. You know, to get your $10,000 back is my point. It's going to take you so long because everyone that's showing these, like this guy will show this presentation on how it works. And yesterday's meeting or the day before, um, they couldn't get it to work, and it kept crashing. And then one went through, and they go, oh, wow, we got one through. And then the guy said, I got a dollar twenty-five. I mean, uh, people are not realising there's a friggin' elephant in the room. But anyway, they're in here, and now they've... The scam is not whether... Boomerang works or not. The scam is that if you sell a $10,000 package to someone like Vera... I would get a thousand dollar backhander for doing so, and because of that, you've got all these people that we had this lady June in our chat room yesterday saying, "Oh, you shouldn't be naming and shaming people," and when we go, "Well, you shouldn't be promoting a multi-level marketing fraudulent activity." This has been flagged by the state of California as a scam. So, what are you doing promoting it? Oh, because they're just after the commission money they'll get. Multi-level marketing is the scam. The scam is not whether Boomerang works or not. And even if you do think it works, it mathematically is just about impossible to get your $10,000 back. It's just ridiculous. And now they've turned off all the Zoom meetings where people can speak. So it's like we're all handcuffed, our hands are behind us, and we just have to listen to this propaganda. Hence why I don't want to broadcast this uh, meeting and the propaganda. I will leave it on so we can see what's happening. When Chavez comes out and addresses the nation, we will turn it up then. But other than that, I don't see any reason why I should broadcast it. Now, tomorrow morning, we they will be going back to normal mode, and that's when the community will be able to, if they're not staged, to have a say about how they're feeling about this new webinar format. And my last rant is really Zoom. What the hell are you doing? Letting these people promote this known Ponzi scheme on your platform. You know, this is newsworthy information. All right, so let's get back into listening to Vera because we'll never finish. It was an hour long. At the age of 17, 20 minutes he to provided go. tech services to Marvel camera, Studios. I'll see you in a second. And also he created a little bit of AI that everybody in the world uses. Um, mm. However, he can't tell you the name of the company because he signed an NDA. Mm. He's the man. They just make it up as they go along, you know. You know? But they had a good teacher in Sam Lee. Yeah. Well, they had a great CEO in uh, uh, Stephen Reese Lewis, and the accolades that this guy had, and they pouted those out in those presentations, telling you how wonderful the CEO was, and all of that, every single bit of that has been proven a false lie, and we've now realised that Stephen Reese Lewis is actually a runner, and he, he's a TV commentator. Mm. And, and he's running because he's on the run and we've got to destroy mm -hmm. that guy's life <laughs> because everybody's after him at the moment, asking him, how did you, you know, how, did, how come you were the CEO of a company that lost $1.3 billion with a B? Hey, everyone, I haven't had a chance to say much in the chat room. Right. What have you done with my money? money? People would just basically... Oh, yeah. I was just a paid actor. I didn't know it was real. Do you mm. know it's real? Mm. You know it's real. I know it's real, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, I, I can't, I can't answer to, to this guy, but surely he must have known, or else he was paid a hell of a lot of Mac. money. You, you know, not to inquire further. You know, so. Yeah. So Carl enticed you to spend three thousand dollars on VAV. What did he tell yeah. you would happen if you gave him three thousand dollars? Oh, look. 
I would I would get my money back. But this is three thousand US dollars. Uh, we would get our money back in forty eight hours. Eight hundred eighty seven dollars Australian. Yes, yes, and. That- I haven't given much love to my chat room people, but every morning I have my very loyal people in my chat room. I've got 13 people in here at the moment, so I just want to say a special hello to Crypto Mac, Susie Stealth, uh, Crypto G, and June, you're back. I thought you'd come back when I mentioned your name. Um, you'd failed to come into a Zoom meeting and stand up for what you're, you're, you're yelp, pelting out there, so maybe you'll do it today. Bill, George, welcome. Uh, Crypto G, of course, and... Um, Rob, uh, nice to have you here. No doubt you've probably ducked off to have a listen to the um, the broadcast, which is fantastic. Um, we will be listening to Shavas Address the Nation. Uh, we've tracked $7.2 million that has been transferred out of um, We Are All Satoshi and been transferred into a Binance wallet, and it's now in a hot wallet ready to be lifted off the platform. So this is stolen money from the community that's been siphoned out. So all your $10,000 people that have invested money, kiss goodbye to that money, you're never going to see it again. And now you're stuck with a, a boomerang system that where you can make between a dollar and $5 if you can get the transactions to work. All the information of all the cryptos, we've gone to the men in black in America, we've given them the transactions and the hashtags of all the transactions and we've asked them to put a freeze on the account before it disappears into no man's land. That's the power of what we have got. In this video here, we're exposing Carl Miller. This is a lady called Vera who's been in the Guardian newspaper and she told her story. She was disappointed that they wouldn't use Carl Miller's name. Carl Miller's responsible for at least $20,000 of her money. Uh, and now, right now, Carl Miller will be in the Zoom meeting uh, into the webinar mode where they're gaslighting people into investing in this boomerang thing, which is a money grab. We've been tracking this this f- since, uh, well, I've been doing videos for the last two years, and we've proven that all the, we have, in the last five days, Crypto G, brilliant people like um, Susie Stealth, who really understands crypto better than I do, have proven that these wallets are all connected. Right back to 2019, the wallet address, it was set up um, for Hyperverse, Diversal, um, we are all Satoshi, uh, Vend, Vend. I, I'm dying to find out whether you can actually get some, I've got some addresses for We We Global and also the blockchain error. Uh, I want those addresses seen if there's any connection with this criminal network because the, the master wallet addresses are connected and that's the Hereka moment that's really proven. Because we've already proven that all these Ponzi schemes are running out of the same building. Chavez claims that he is the tech provider and he has his own tech company. Well, Boomerang is actually ran, and the IP address that runs the platform Boomerang has been flagged as malicious, 99% malicious, not just a little bit malicious. So the platform, the Boomerang platform, is actually running out of India. Now, there's meant to be a guy by the name of Paul from Poland who he's partnered with to provide this groundbreaking piece of software. So there's a lot of shit going around at the moment. Now, we literally have Sarah Martin uh, working on another article at the moment. She's done, she's publishing her, I think she's got two more articles in the go, and this will show you that people are actually getting arrested. People are getting locked up, and I'm going to be doing another show in just uh, four hours, 45 minutes, showing you the rise and, the rise actually, let's just call it the rise of Bitcoin Beauty and Bitcoin Rodney. So there's a lot happening right now. I don't think I've ever been as excited as I have at exposing these Ponzi schemes. And then in comes to the room is June, who says, how you get, I haven't even read this, how you get a chance to create your own content. Now you get a chance to create your own content. So this lady here thinks, if you haven't noticed. On your left and two mega nodes on your right. And, and I don't this business matching this will become a giga node. So I've got this content because Carl Miller's in this cool. room here. You claim 3% extra. You know, in here, and I'm showing you that this guy is a scammer and he's on the dole. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, if you go into here and we go to, uh, where is it? Back. We'll show you Carl's on the dole. So what's Carl? There's his payslip. I won't enlarge it because it will show you Carl's private details. But there's a payslip. Carl gets paid $738.60 um, a fortnight from the Australian taxpayer because he's on the dole. 
And now he's in these meetings, running Zoom meetings, back to back, running a scam. I mean, for God's sake, what other... I don't need to listen to these stupid gaslighting meetings where they're convincing people to give away $10,000 of their money so it can be siphoned off into a Binance wallet. That's the point. Anyway, let's carry on. That was paid into a bank account with the with the assistance of Yvonne Henry and Carl Miller as paid she into a bank me. account. She loves me. That lady, I think she has the hots for me. Can you imagine that? Uh, I could not believe that the, the teacher, Kate, was... Uh, Kate Longley. I know them all. I have all their phone numbers. Good point, Ashley. I'll check the stream settings for Tammy and Gobi because they were actually running... Um, their own version. So um, now just stupid June that's in the chat room here that's, uh, I don't know who the hell you think you are. Uh, can you explain to the group what happened to Tammy and Gobi? Because theoretically they are meant to be um, the directors, aren't they? Remember they were going to have nine board of directors for controlling the money uh, that was in the Vault Horizon. Oh, my God, what happened to the money that's in the Vault Horizon? Oh, that's right. They transferred it in a stupid way that looks really suspicious. Crypto G did a brilliant video showing that the way they transferred it was very dubious. dubious. Got transferred into a second Vault Horizon. And then when you go to the Vault Horizon's proof of reserve, there's no money in there. Oh, and then Sharpless goes, oh, I've transferred it off to a casher bank. And casher bank are going to pay the dividends to the We Are Satoshi members. How many members are there in We Are Satoshi? June, why don't you tell us how many members do you think are in We Are All Satoshi? So Chavez says there's either 70, 80, or 100,000 people involved in We Are All Satoshi. Crypto G and I went through and we counted the wallet addresses. There's 11,000 wallet addresses. The majority of those wallet addresses are empty. 80 cents, I think we found one. So we went through a ton of them, we got sick of looking at them, but most of them are empty. However, if we did play your stupid game and there was 70,000 people involved in We Are All Satoshi and there was only $4.2 million in the Vault Horizon, which equated at the time to about 159 Bitcoin, then that would mean the average person that invested in We Are All Satoshi would actually have only invested $200. $200, I should say. However, we did a Zoom meeting for an hour and a half. Jim, uh, I, think, I think it was Vinny and also... Crypto Sage, which is Rob, no name, and myself. And she showed us that there was a $260 million advertising budget in We Are Satoshi. And I'm going, who gave you that money? And she said, I said, where'd that money come from? And she said, well, Sam Lee, who's a billionaire, right, okay, um, he put the money in because he really believes in the project. But if you listen to the system, when you deposit $1,000 in, 68% of that goes into the marketing budget, 2% of that goes off to the tech provider, which is meant to be Sam Lee, which is now meant to be Chavez, and 30% of it goes into the Vault Horizon. And the Vault Horizon is designed so you can't lose, because when the halving happens and Bitcoin takes off, in 100, uh, 500 days' time, Bitcoin will actually be worth, so they say, $100,000. And that's the security people have got. So it's a win-win situation. And then I said, well, somebody said, well, why did Sam give $260 million into this platform if there's no way of him getting any return on his investment? Is he just literally throwing in $260 million into this marketing budget and then walked away? Get me into a rant now. So then four months after, uh, not after the interview, but four months after we are all Satoshi, um, Sam left and it all crashed and they ran out of money. They, they they went through the $260 million advertising budget in four months. They got 20% into the 500 days, 100 days in, I presume that was. And that means that basically Chavez said he watched the, the marketing budget disappear and he didn't do anything to stop it. So it goes through $65 million a month in losses. What sort of company are you associated with? So anyway, they invited me onto a Zoom meeting and I asked Chavez that question. Where did the $260 million come from that you claim was in the advertising budget? And he said, oh, you don't understand the system. It's all from the members, which means the 68% uh, that come in from the members equated to $260 million, which meant... That made the average investment of people five and a half thousand. And that also meant that there should have been 114 million in the Vault Horizon, but there wasn't. There was only 4.2 million. Nothing about this adds up. If you have half a brain, June, and you're in my chat box and you're sitting here taunting me, going, Oh, you have to get your own content now. I've got my own content because you guys have got so much content. I mean, if we go back to my my YouTube channel. 
I mean, go and have a look at the videos if you care. Of course you don't. You're just, you're a mule. June, you're a mule that is going after the commission money that you're stealing from mum and dad investors. And let's get back on target and let's listen to mum and dad investor. Uh, there we go, Vera. I have all their home addresses. I have everything sure. about them. I just need the ATO in Australia to say, Danny, come over. We've got a hotel room for you. Can you spend a couple of days showing us some of your videos? Yes. I'll be there with well, bells on. She's, she's giving people directions. Surely she can't work as, as a teacher anymore. She can't be employed by the state government as a teacher. Well, we've we've actually been in contact with her her um, school at yeah. three times and said, and, and this is just me personally, and we were asking them that question, how can you allow this lady to teach children when she's out yes. there scamming their mum their mum and dads? Yes. And what was their answer? Nothing. Oh. So then we, we took Liberty on their Facebook page the other day and posted videos of Kate Longley on their um, Facebook page. They were there. We haven't, I haven't looked. They might be still there. But all the comments have been there over the holiday because everyone's away from school and no one's administering the Facebook page. So we're yes. hoping that other teachers from the school will see those comments and ask questions at ATM meetings. ATM? Yes. What do they call them? Yes. ATM something meetings? Yes. It, uh, well, teachers' meetings as they do. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's the extent that we've got to go to. And then people criticise. Somebody was in my chat room this morning telling me that we shouldn't be naming shaming people. Oh. And I said, well, that person is not an investor into one of these Ponzi schemes, obviously. No. They're on the outside looking that in. Well, they're a but commission for, grabber. Their money involved, they, they would have a completely different story. Yeah. So a different attitude. What, what I tell most people is the scam is actually the multi-level marketing part of it. People are trying mm. to figure out, like at the moment, this boomerang thing is arbitrage trading, where you buy loan and sell no, the other mm. way. You buy high hey, and you sell like low the and the, you mini, the money the great guys, in the middle. Appreciate it. Yes. You, 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 you buy it for one price and then you sell it on another yeah, platform uh, that has a higher price. That's right. And you make, yeah. literally, yeah. they're making anything from $1.25 up to $3 a transaction. And mm. Yvonne Henry said she Appreciate made $60 American in 45 minutes the other day. Oh, but they um, if you work it all out, hey, it's um, a joke because you've Richard. got to pay ten thousand dollars for the Are license. You... Let's go find Richard, yes. everyone. So that, and that would be US, yeah. So they yes. had all the, and you had to use USDT. So all these people are rushing out buying these ten thousand dollar licenses, and then this morning they decided to tell everybody that you can buy licenses from five hundred dollars, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, and five thousand. They so they did. It was like their in-house mini pre-sale. Create urgency. Create if all fear of missing out. You, yes. And then all these people watched out there with ten thousand dollars, and we watched. Well, we saw six point seven million dollars come in. Charvis reckons that he only made a million dollars, but the money, we can see the money. <laughs> uh -huh. And now, after they've flogged everyone for ten thousand dollars, they go back and start cleaning up for the people that want to invest five or a thousand or two thousand and three thousand and five thousand. Daddy, you've got to get in touch with the people that prosecuted Bernie Madoff. They don't care. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they might. Just, just say, listen, I've got hundreds of them running around. Yes. So just, you know, put your tentacles out and. And get them all, round them up. I, I can't understand it. They literally, the biggest organisation in the world, in my opinion, said to me, no one held a gun to people's heads when they handed over their investment money. But they, what, what they're extolling is lies. You know, it's a scam. They're, they're not telling the truth. It's not an honest investment because they're, they're enticing you to put money into something that isn't real. So it's obtaining property by deception, the way any way you look at it, which is against the law. You're right. That's what it is. You're so right. I, I can't, I'm, at, I'm at absolutely, like I'm at the end of my tether with it and I feel mm. like I'm probably going to go broke chasing this. And then one day mm. somebody will come along and tell my story and I'll go, well, maybe it was worthwhile. But mm -hmm. I'm not saying that for any personal gain or anything. I'm just actually saying that, you know, I was up at six o'clock this morning and I'll be up at six o'clock tomorrow. It's seven fourteen in the evening. I've got a lady in the 
my partner's invited a friend around. I meant to be on the barbecue. And I, I'm, not, I'm not saying let's hurry up, but this, yes, I would rather right. interview you than cook a friggin' barbecue. Now that's, I know that's uncomprehendable <laughs> no, for an Aussie. You, you, you've got to do your barbecue. You, you, your partner is a saint, honestly, to put yeah. up with your hours and, and everything else, yeah? yeah. I, I go to bed uh, at two o'clock in the morning and I get up at quarter to six in the morning to run these meetings. And I tell you what, I'm as, I'm as happy as a sandboy. What's that say? Happy as a sandboy in a... <laughs> hey, what is that but I, a I love doing what? what I do, but I don't like the, the most light that I've actually been shown on at this moment is the reporter from the Guardian newspaper. We've got yes. four articles, and I'm thinking, why are you publishing about Stephen Rees Lewis? Boom, we found him. Yes. And now I'm. Saying, well, the more people that speak up, the more people that that come forward. I think it is just one of those slow burn. It'll just culminate, culminate, culminate. Yep. And bang, you will become a star. You will be the headline. Oh, look, you are that, the star, you know? Vera. You are the, you are the warrior. No. <laughs> you are. I'm just, I'm just one of the cast, out. right? I, In your movie, I'm just one of the cast. Yeah? I've heard about, what are the extras? I'm guessing <laughs> 500 people have come to me and told me their story. Yes. Oh, well, that's good. I hope more do. Yeah, because they don't you want are to tell me their story. They tell Danny to heck their story. They don't want to get in, in the media. Well, why not? Why not? I don't know what they're scared of. Um, what, admitting that you fell victim to these scammers? You know, they're very good. They're very rehearsed at what they do. That's you know? right. They, they use so, AI-generated, uh, um, what's his name? Musk? Elon, Elon Musk, yes. Right. AI-generated. And you know what? In brackets there, AI tools developed by Tesla engineers, even more so. So, you know... Yep. Don't feel bad if 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 you've believed what you've read because um, yeah I don't well, know. I can tell you now there are, you are a hero in my eyes and I look for and we've got a friendship that we've formed and it's just awesome because I mean well, one day I look forward to meeting you in person giving you a big hug and saying you're you're a warrior and I, I really mean you. that thank you Danny and with Carl and his BAV got your money back in forty eight hours and then after a week ten days. You know, your money triples, your investment would triple and yeah. come back to you. You know, and then Sam's Sam's got a headache, you know, something's something else has come up about Viddy look and he can't designate his time to this. So it's on the back burner, just hold on, it'll get sorted. And and just, you know, and so it's gone. And you know, on hold, on hold, on hold to he won't take my call. Yeah. Now you've been um shuttered to a halt a little bit with your finances at the moment. But when you get your money and you win back in your sales, what are you going to invest in next? Oh, bricks and mortar. Boom. My, it's exactly yeah. what I was hoping you was going to say. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, bricks and mortar. Away you guys. guys. Invest yeah. in real stuff. Yeah. You know, if Don't there is no scam, team. it's just <laughs> something you can control and something that has history, it's legitimate. And uh, it's, it's the safe. It's perhaps, you know, there are more lucrative ways, but I think, with that comes there's a catch, there's a question yeah. mark, yeah. and you know, cave it empty. If, if, if I was thinking about getting into property in Australia, would you give me any advice? Absolutely, because Brilliant. it's something I know about. That's right. Yeah? That's right. So you dabbled you went over to another you looked over the, the fence and you heard somebody talking about something that intrigued oh, you. Live stream and then you invested money in something that you didn't know about. Can somebody give me the What's link that? to With the, the well, you invested in crypto opportunities. Streaming, so you didn't, yes, you didn't yes. really know what you were doing. No, I didn't. Yep. I didn't know what I was doing, and I was too gullible. Yep. I was too gullible, too naive, um, too trusting, I suppose. Yep. But you know, my rule of, of living is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I'm not a religious person by any means, but to live by that that uh, philosophy, I, I think it is a good one. That's you know? brilliant. I, I did yeah. get brought up in a religious background, and I can tell you that people like Carl Miller, which I detest, his philosophy is do to others before they do to you. Yeah, yes, it is. But every dog has their day. You know? <laughs> yeah. Every dog has their day. Yeah. And he can have a, cricket, a crocodile around him, uh, but you know, nothing will protect him when his day comes. Yeah. My, my next video, I, I, while I was um, waiting for you to do, do you hear, <laughs> <laughs> I actually have got three videos and it's My, about, um, for the Paul next Rodney day as well. And mm. there um, will be no change in uh, the price. Bitcoin beauty. 
and I'm playing three videos and I've already set it up and the title of it is The Rise and Fall of Bitcoin Rodney and Bitcoin Beauty. Mm. And because if you watch these videos that I'm about to play, they are two years old and I'm looking at the videos and I'm now recognizing the people that are at these events. And it was the highs and the lows of these people Why is no that got involved in crypto in the and they are coming crashing down. Oh, well, who, who was that guy? Was it Williams and that we in high produce very Williams? high up? Hey? Well, I hope he dies of cancer very soon and painfully because well, he deserves that. I had the men in black tell me that they clawed back 2.1 million pounds from him just in the mm. last two weeks. That's good. That's his good. His I hope he has friend. to sell his mansion. I hope he no, has to sell his mansion. No, no. This is, this is the part I don't understand. He's still got a three million pound mansion that he never had before he met Hyperverse. He he's theoretically had a couple of mil in the bank, so I got told. He had some property investment, which you'd be proud of, and uh, now they've clawed back. He went to pay a million and a half pounds in taxes, and the tax department said, nope, we don't want your money. We're going to investigate you. And now I've heard from a very powerful organisation that he was uh, they clawed back 2.1 million pounds from him. And uh, hopefully ongoing. Well, I don't know, but his best friend told me that he was a good guy, and he didn't realise it was a scam. Oh, and and oh. he was trying to trade out of it with Hyper Nation. Ah, oh, he's one of Sam, he's one of Carl Miller's mates. Yeah. So the guy, he's he, he's lovely. He worked with him. Now this guy is a serious mm. businessman. I've looked him, checked him out. He worked with Keith Williams for twenty years. He's his best mate. He spent Christmas with him, and he said to me that he wants to ring me up and tell me what, um, what actually happened. Well, and, you'll, you'll take his call, won't you? Well, I, I don't want to. I, I, I'm sitting here thinking, I don't want to hear. I listened to his message, and he sort of chuckled at me like Keith had some right to keep the money he got from everyone. And I'm thinking, I actually hated it, the phone call. And I'm thinking, yeah. I don't know if I will be able to keep my shit together when listening yeah. to the guy. Because I've actually seen a photo of Keith Williams on his deathbed because he, I didn't yeah. believe it. I said, you have to provide me some form of evidence. Yeah. And I've kept this, I've only showed it to my partner. Yeah. And I said, I, I, I promised him I wouldn't publicize it and I'd keep our conversations in confidence because I wanted I wanted information. I wanted to know what happened to the money. I wanted to know why he did yeah. this. You know, all these questions. And I'm thinking, yeah. do I want to hear this guy tell me that Keith's a good guy? When in my heart, he's a scumbag. And he deserves but, what but he did, 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 did this friend of his offer... For, for himself to call you or for Keith Williams to call you? I want Keith Williams to call me and redeem himself. If Keith Williams yes. feels like he's been hard done by, Keith, if you yes. listen to this, give the crypto Ponzi scheme Avenger, the guy in the cheap suit who can't afford yes. to pay his rent, give him a ring and tell him why yes. you feel justified in keeping everyone's monies like Vera's. Yes, all yes, I want yes. to say to Keith Williams is, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Because you won't get that call, really. No, you they're won't all get cowards. That and anybody that thinks that we're on the wrong track, then reach out to me, do a Zoom call, put me on the right track. Because... And, and you know, you know that fellow that rang you that professed to be his friend of 20 years, that was probably him just making up, um, you know, a, a dossier from someone in the paper or someone no, online. We did a Zoom call with him, and it's all recorded. Oh, okay. Yep, I've got, you know, and I've also researched the guy. Um, they know each other through British Telecom. Yeah. And they used to be hot, 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 uh, what are they called, salesmen? Well, all I can say is that that chap that, that called you and told you about him, he must have, uh, Keith Williams must have promoted him to a VIP5 and, and he's got his uh, dollars worth out of it all. So that's why he's jumping to his defence. Well, something he can tell you about. Well, he said already. that he did invest and. Um, so you can never see told it's, him to it's not. Because you know, he never told him. Sorry, I'm trying to well, over here. Over. It's, it's not guys? making any profit. You cannot see any upside over here. So let me tell you, if you stop mining as of now, you know, you are having BTCC 20 in numbers, right? And your biofuel cost is 1676. Now, if you stop mining, is this what we should be neither doing? BTCC will increase nor the BFIL cost will increase, right? If you unstake all the miners from your, if you unstake all the miners from your, neither your BTCC will increase nor your BFUEL consumption will increase, right? But if you 
if you pay this 1676 and you harvest this 20 BTCC, <clears throat> right? So as for current rate, that is 79, you are getting 79 into 20. Are you, what are you trying to I'm trying to follow you. 1580. Were you talking about, I presume you weren't talking about Vera, you were talking about this trash shit. Right. right. But what if the price increases to 100? So 100 into 20, that way you will get 2000. But this B-fuel cost is going to be constant because you are not mining, you are not uh, you know, uh, incurring this B fuel cost, this is going to be always constant. So, if the price of BDCC increases, the upside you will have will be much more greater what do you compared mean you to the mean? current value. So, it's more beneficial in holding BDCC. BDCC mined over. What do you mean you can't hear me? You've got no sound. Can you hear me now? How long can you not hear me? I don't, I can't read that word. Nata, what does that mean? N A D A. Can you not hear me? Can you not hear me? And if not, why not? Uh, Zoom ain't open. Can you not hear me? I'm listening now. And you can harvest accordingly. Whenever you have funds, in fact, I'll suggest you to have fresh funds. Whenever you have fresh fresh funds, you can use that fresh fund to harvest. That way, you won't have to sell off your BDCC. So, it will also help increase the system's liquidity. So it's, it's, it's my suggestion, you must always and always plug in your miners. You, always, you must always keep your miners mining BTCC. Never ever leave your miner in your, uh, you know, left out. Each of your miners should mine BTCC. Why? Because the BTCC that you are mining today you are not going to be my you you won't be able to mine the same amount of btcc maybe cup tomorrow in a couple of days why because the miners they keep on increasing every day everybody is you know getting into this mining thing and the number of miners is increasing that way the hash power of the system is also increasing so if the hash power is increasing that means the BDCC from the total supply is distributing distributed amongst many more miners. As the number of miners will increase, you will receive lesser and lesser. So let me tell you, uh, let me uh, help you with that also, that calculation as well. So, you know, you have this 10 miners over here and your hash power is 10,000, right? And the system's total hash power is two, uh, 220 million. Is that better? Right. You, Does that make if you're not Lisa, nice increasing you your hash power by adding miners, Podcast. this is not going to stop. But Testing. your hash power is always going to be constant because you are not in. Okay. Is that is that better? And what I'll do is I'll turn the sound up on here. We'll come back right. to Vera. You, if you're not increasing what your the hell hash power wrong? by this is adding miners. Computer. Hope this is not that. gonna stop, but your nothing. hash power is always one more word, Rob. Can you give me one more word? Can you hear me at all? Like nothing. Miners. So if your you hash can hear power nothing, is, is that word? Am I meant to interpret that? Nothing is increasing. You are bound to no get sound less and less at all? BDCC every day. The BDCC you are harvest, you are getting, you are uh, mining today. It's not gonna be same tomorrow. Let me just change my wallet uh, so that we can get to the exact calculation. So over here you can see the hash power is 50,000. And today in the morning we did some uh, training and we have this value over here. This is today morning's value. 
over here you can see 2187 the hash power in the morning and the hash power today in the evening you can compare it see just uh, within within 10 hours the hash power has increased almost uh, almost like uh, how much is it it has increased right so see now today in the morning when we calculated uh, as per this hash power this account was mining 1.64 this is last training's uh, hash power when we conducted the master training this was last master training's hash power where the daily btcc was 1.74 but over here today in the okay morning, you seem like you can hear me right. yeah, that's good and if we do this same calculation I got an iPad here. 22048600. Now the hash, the, because oh, the hash what power you're is saying, increased, the but anyway, I think I, I, I listened to myself on the iPad. I, I think I can be hearing right. So it has now what you mean by that, sorry. So this is the formula. Your net hash power divided by your the total hash power of the system multiplied by daily supply. Your net hash power. These guys are 000. bastards, aren't they? How did we determine that? I have Xeon JT1X in amounts of 30. Each is having a, a 1K hash power. Copy that shit. is 1000 hash power. So 1000 into 30, that's 30,000. And, uh, uh, you know, I have two Xeon GT10X. So two Xeon GT10X. So is if I'm right here, guys, 10, 000, is he saying 10, basically total, everyone's total disconnecting 50, their miners? And because and the of same that, hash power, you can um, directly take it from here also. This is your personal They're going to use that as an excuse. You don't need to calculate all the miners. To why? So 50,000 from This here, is an exit okay, strategy, this right? This is your, uh, your personal mining And how come no one else power. is chatting in the, so 50, 000, in the chat room? Divided by the total supply, total supply is here, total mining hash power is here, and multiplied by 7200, it gives you 1.63. So, you can see over here, if you are not increasing your hash power, day by day, Bitcoin code is getting expensive to you, and you are mining okay, less and hear. less of Bitcoin code. So it's very important that we should hold this Bitcoin as much as possible. And we must also keep on increasing our Xeon GT miners in our mining app. No Hitler ship here. All right. Now we have other features on this app. We have covered this. Remember, dashboard. Trash it is a failed and business coach, this, now become uh, a mining. crypto genius. Now harvesting. What is what is meant by harvesting? Uh, you give you Travis know, money? The, you are having a BTCC mine already in this DAP over here. This is your asset. Mm. That means you have already claimed 68.472 BTCC from the total supply. All right. But it is not accessible to you as of now because you need to harvest this first. Pay Harvesting for it. means give taking out this BTCC and they get credited into your wallet. That means they are now. I think easy, people are more interested in the Holy Grail. So all the tokens, they are all the coins, either you running you scared on your wallet, you can easily send them or to want to use the BCC to, to buy boomerang. Assets, right? That's true. But actually, that's probably exactly what's happening. First. But of course, these are your. Can you see crypto um, Carl Miller's comments so in the chat room? How can you harvest it? I'm wondering if I've so been blocked. So for harvesting, we have partial and complete harvesting. So the harvesting cost is determined in B fuel. I mean, you must be friggin' dumb and in the head if you believe this stuff, but it's not the scam. 0 .0125. So we the have scam a, is uh, getting the commission money for selling a friend or a family member into this. So all the question is, can you get that commission money off the link, platform? Buy now link or in the menu you are having this B fuel <sighs> tab. Always use this link and this <sighs> tab to purchase. We'll go back to there after. Trash it. Never ever swap your BDCC against your B fuel. So whatever amount of USDT you require, you can swap your BDCC. To Why is USDT. no one else commenting in the chat room? BDCC to USDT. I gotta go the loo anyway. Now so that's all I can see.
So you can determine how much uh, beer fuel you require and that much dollar in USDT you need to have on your wallet. With that, you can purchase beer fuel and with this beer fuel, you can harvest over here. All right, this is partial and completely harvest. Always plan a harvesting budget so that you can, you can you know, harvest regularly and have BTCC accessible to you. Now we have this market over here. You can sell your NFTs in the market as well, in the open market. Uh, how do we get your NFTs in this open market? So for that, you need to go to the mining page and whatever miner you are having on your wallets. Let me unstack this, any miner from here. Uh, let's let's unstake uh, uh, 13178. Let me unstake it. 13178. So once you unstake your miner, your miner will be detached from node and it will get onto your miners in wallet uh, section over here. See 13178. It has been unstaked and it gets onto this miners in wallet section. So over here you can see in the upper section you have this one NFT indication over here. So once you double tap this, a secret uh, section opens and in that you will find Can your you check the miner the in check your room? wallet. Once you double tap your miner, you will have this option <sighs> to transfer as well as sell your NFT. So if you want to transfer no, I'm this about NFT chat room to on any the live other stream. wallet, you can paste the MetaMask I'm just wondering if anyone else can see. address over here. Um, and this NFT will go My message, because sometimes to blocked. the DAP of that MetaMask wallet. All right. And if you want to sell your NFT on the NFT marketplace, you can use the sell. You can set a price, maybe one BTCC or whatever you're feeling comfortable with, and you can confirm your NFT will be listed in this marketplace. Oh my God. So whatever that... price you have put, so it's your if own marketplace, isn't it? From the open market, your NFT. It would be interesting to know that, how many people. All right. So I hope this is clear have, to you all how um, you can get access to this features of buying these. Transferring your I wonder if Chavez is buying his own wallets. NFTs back. You know what I mean? Now we have two important features on keep this Keep it all going long one as you can. Bridge and one is swap. Let me take swap first. Swap when this falls over, it's going to be a laugh, where guys. You can, uh, and, you know, you can uh, exchange, you can, you can change your assets from the same blockchain to other tokens or coins. So, if you want to swap BTCC to USDT, you can use the the swap feature over here. And whatever uh, BTCC you are having on your wallet, that you can swap to USDT or any other coin that might be available on our blockchain. So how do you imp how do you get this coin on this swap? Do you reckon they're so all working out of the same offices in Dubai, or do you reckon they're in um, and in that India? Because Boomerang's in India. Paste the smart contract the address of it's those hosted. tokens over here, and that in way India. you can import the tokens in coin India on this swap feature. So you can see I have already imported uh, I've already USDT put a over message here. in Where will you find live, the Yeah, USDT I can see that there, but I'm just wondering address. if you can you see my messages and vice versa, really. Scanner of our blockchain, the explorer of a blockchain. And in this, we have this section token and go to all. Reset. And from here, you will be able to find all the token listed on our blockchain. USDT, BFUL, Xeon JT 1X, Xeon JT 10X. Let me import B fuel over here for you. So you access B fuel and you copy this smart contract address of B fuel. Once you go to swap, select a token, paste the smart contract address, and you can see it identifies the smart contract address and list B fuel over here. Use this button to add. And now on the swap, you will find B fuel listed. Similar manner, you can list USDT. And whenever you want to swap between USDT and BDCC, you can use the swap feature. So swap is basically used to interchange your coins or tokens to another coin or token on the same blockchain. So whatever BDCC you are having, one BDCC, 
So depending on current rate of BDCC, current price of BDCC, hasn't this company moved so many SDT. times and changed so and twisted? BDCC and and, and wallet will get converted I started writing a whole lot of claims the other day, but it just gets here. ridiculous, you know what right. I mean? Now, while you are swapping, claims. you need to consider the price impact. Price impact is the difference between the market price and the estimated price due to trade size. So whenever you will swap any coin or token in multiple or in bulk value, you will find this price impact. Whenever you will sell a token or coin reference, in I'll bulk put quantity, the, um, the, the liquidity will adjust this itself very Zoom and you meeting that they always are broadcasting. receive less of profit. So you must see if I'm placing, uh, if you're using 15, the price impact is less than 0 0.01. You can see over here. Right. So they don't want me to rebroadcast when this I meeting. It to 20 or 25, However, they're broadcasting it live see, onto you know, the price YouTube. Impact, it was initially less than 0 0.01. I mean, are they pathetic, these 0 guys? .01. And if I increase it to 50, now the price impact is 0.02%. So if I trade in bulk quantity, <clears> I am <throat> bound to receive less of a profit. So always uh, swap in smaller values. That way, price impact won't be much, right? <clears throat> so over here we have another section. This is liquidity provider fees that that gets contributed to all the liquidity providers. So zero point thirty percent of each trade goes Thanks to the liquidity the provider room, based on their liquidity right. tools. So the next month they will so be a liquidity provider, floating these TC and sending around 300 people. And to become a liquidity provider, you need to business put class two coins or tokens to Dubai. of the same That's right. value. That's probably why they took out the $7.2 million today so they so could pay the way, airline. You become a liquidity so provider for the either going the, to happen or not. of BDCC and USDT. Wow. Sam's already done that it. That way, whenever people will swap BDCC to USDT or USDT to BDCC, you are bound to receive liquidity provider fees but how much you receive will depend on your percentage share pretty enough the they um you could buy a twenty five thousand so dollars something uh, with we are satoshi and then, to liquidity, and then all the people the 55 uh, people that went to dubai it all paid twenty five thousand dollars and the flights was included depending on so now they were trying to sell nodes at twenty seven thousand right that Theoretically, they sold a hundred of them. Compared to all the <laughs> other liquidity pool providers, my percentage is 0 0.01. That means anybody, when they will swap between PDCC and USDT, I will receive 0.01% of the liquidity provider fees. Let me explain this also to you with a liquidity pool spreadsheet. Hey, Bill. So let us assume that price of BDCC is $80. So if you want to become a liquidity pool provider, so you can, uh, you know, you can put equal value of BDCC and USDT. So if you are putting in one BDCC, you also need to put 80, 80. USDT. Now let us assume that, uh, you know, You're Chavez idiot. is the only person as of now who is the liquidity provider so he has, it's let us shoot? assume, put in 100 BDCC. So based on current rate, he also needs to so put So you got Chavez and Lucky, USD. who seem to be the board of directors at the moment. That way he claims the Where's the money from the vault horizon? The oh, well, where did they go? Pool. And if the through the through Ooh, the people swapping... I thought we had Grace's phone uh, number. Between these pairs... Oh, he posted it. Fees it doesn't turn up in the chat room. You can see the chat room there. to the LP providers. As Chavez is having 100% of this pool share, you he can is ask questions anonymously profit. on this platform. Can you? Now, let us assume that Lucky oh, is question and having $1,000 oh, and she puts oh, in 1,000 BDCC and she there puts in to the liquidity pool now. So, the chat room is pool percentage of Lucky is 90.81 and that of Chavez is 9.09. That means See that there? the $10 up liquidity there? provider fees. Depending on their percentage, will be distributed amongst lucky it and will go Chavez. to YouTube. Also, so check that your way, official Chavez Telegram will group. receive 9.09% okay. of 10%, and lucky will receive 90.9%. Then you are whitelisted. I'll just so, flip, I'll just flip up to the button. I'll do it backwards in case they delete the messages. Uh, we are getting liquidity. We are also getting liquidity into the system through liquidity providers. 
and this liquidity providers are you know people who have extra uh, funds with them and they can they put their uh, funds into this liquidity and that way they claim passive income just imagine the price has reduced from 87 to 79 how many people hmm. would have swapped Ask between a question. BTCC to Seen USDT? Anonymously. Oh, how come so I can't do how it? much profit liquidity pool providers would have made during this festival season? And that is absolutely passive. Now the last how come I can't send anonymously? Is bridge. Let's cover that as well. So bridge is basically used to bring an asset across blockchain. Same asset from different blockchains can be inter, inter, inter swap and this bridge is basically a functionality. Now, if you want to bring in fresh fund, fresh Copy USDT that. from systems, from external system to our system, BTC20, you, that, you? you can use the bridge in feature over here. So for that, you need to connect your Tron link wallet. Just a second. Well, oh, it's passwords dot dot dot. So once you connect your Tron Link wallet, you need to have Tron on your Tron Link wallet for the gas fees because the gas fees will be uh, deducted in Trons as well as the USDT um, you want to transfer, you can put in over here. Okay. okay. I posted Grace's so number. So whatever USDT you want to transfer, you, you can need to ask get questions and how come USDT I can't USDT see them? How make sure you check the box? It won't let me link. check it. Wallet. Nice put in girl. the USDT quantity, whatever you want to. Uh, how much? Do the uh, anonymous questions to, turn up? Uh, bring in. Maybe it's not on a mobile phone. And over here, releasing to address, you can put your paid. MetaMask wallet address from your. Well, that way. Your TRC20 will be converted to USDT BTC20 oh, and you will receive this USDT on your MetaMask wallet. But they don't turn in the up in the public area, do now, they? Chavez has already right? announced that bridge is bridge audit is already complete. And from tomorrow, this bridge will tomorrow. be functional. And that way, you Keep all... The us uh, all will be able to bridge in, bridge in out the center of the taskbar. And due to some, you know, uh, some error, this bridge well, had can to see be shut down. In the window above the my head. The was stopped. The liquidity, uh, you know, okay. was... Uh, questions uh, to know, ask. No people questions. People were uh, encashing from liquidity. For Christian that reason, answer. this bridge was no. stopped and many people's funds were stuck in this bridge. So Just Chavez has already released all the funds to all the stuck transactions and people have already Maybe you need to received funds from the long bridge transactions. So if you haven't yet received, please check your address, check your MetaMask addresses. You might would have mm. received funds from the, uh, you know, stuck bridge transactions. So I hope this is clear. And if you want to bridge out, you just need to interchange the asset. And that way, I'll raise my can, hand, eh? uh, you know, cash out BTC20 to TRC20. And over here, you can put in your Meta, your Tron link wallet address. You can copy it from here. I've just raised my hand. What happens when you raise your hand? Tron <coughs> link wallet address. And that way you bridge out. That means you cash out BTC20 to TRC20. So we have almost covered everything from this. Minting and mining. Minting is the process of generation of new coin, NFT assets. While mining is, uh, you know, getting mm. your assets from the total supply. For that, you need to perform some blockchain transactions, and it requires complex mathematical equations and Check significant disabled. amount of computing power. Questions. We have already covered uh, uh, MetaMask wallet. Ask a question. We have covered DAP. We have covered mining. We have covered harvesting. Then BTCC swap. What about payments? The bridge. BTCC bridge. Oh, yeah. Bridge in, bridge out, liquidity pools. So I think we have covered almost everything. Ah, oh, good. You can Few go back to selling. things that we need to uh, understand before participating on this BTCC stuff program. Now. No, I can't wait for me, mate. Close. Please make sure that you invite and build maximum team with leaders. That's what that I really way, want you to do. Your affiliate incomes on bridge, not 
you will Got. have extra fun and with that extra fun you can increase your hash power you Bridge can, you can to be use that extra tomorrow. fun to okay. harvest btcc your hands go higher on income on was when you, you can raise use your social hand funnel, uh, social media funnels you can the hands use goes binary higher. structure for hash up uh, you, you raise can, your uh, hand you that makes no sense must to me never stop mining <laughs> harvest regularly as per your budget hold as many btcc as possible learn educate and duplicate that's that's how you can make the most of btcc opportunity BDCC mining, how to increase your mining uh, uh, efficiently, increase your hash power. If you are not increasing your hash power, your day by day BDCC supply, uh, you know, supply that you are having is going to reduce and your BDCC is going to become very, very expensive to you. Never unstake your miners, plan a harvesting budget, use fresh fund to harvest, do not buy biofuel from BDCC, always, uh, you know, use fresh fund to uh, harvest and that way purchase beef fuel keep a net note of your harvesting cost if you're harvesting today the cost is 79 right so make sure that you keep a track of this so that you can sell it off when the bdcc price is high and that way you will have an upside make profit from bdcc trade many people you know today have purchased bdcc because the price was very less and we absolutely know when the arbitrage trading will begin Everybody is going to have fresh <laughs> funds available to them. Okay. That way they are and all they're going to be hold sitting BDCC here trying to make and harvest enough money to buy a bottle of milk. Funds. So BDCC price in a couple of months is bound to go 200 to $300 as Chavez has already mentioned. Have you all been guest so, uh, You know, we have covered this section. We have covered one part of this. I'll just share one more information with you all. You can see over here. These are some screenshots. So this guy must know his shit, really, eh? See the upside over here. Uh, these were accounts which were mining BDCC from day one. How and do you I guys want this, to do a Zoom message? Accounts uh, harvested a Zoom around after 40th this? day when the BDCC price do, was $70. Put one in the chat room. <laughs> So sure. since this account were mining from that day, if you want to have a first, chat about this afterwards. See the upside um, over here. I can open up, I can fire up a zoom. Forty-four BDCC. A zoom, if they were mined, yeah. uh, if, if you want to do a zoom after this, go one. Using two thousand. Or if you want to do a WhatsApp message after this, a, a, a group was watch this. What? Just imagine the price was uh, seventy dollars back then. Uh, then what put if two. today? You know, 44 into 79. Let's <clears> keep it 80. <throat> See the upside. 3520 is, is what you will get today if the price is 80 minus the cost of harvesting, 2116. So if you sell your shit. If this account would have not sold out 44 BDCC back then, then today the upside would have been 1400 instead of just oh, is this financial prices. advice? So, the more you hold, more upside you will have, and more profit you will make. See, look at look at all these accounts, trash it. See the upside over here. Oh, I should In ring total him. from this six accounts, five me. accounts. Am I gonna ring In him? just 40 hmm. days, we had an upside, uh, we had a profit of two thousand four seventy nine dollars. Let's ring him, eh? So Did imagine really try to two months from now when BDCC price would be $200. Whatever BDCC you are holding as of now, how much upside it will give you. So never ever sell it's off your BDCC, not at any cost. Hold BDCC as much as possible. That way you are going to have a huge upside and that way you are going to make profit. And I suggest keep a harvesting budget or Thanks keep ringing, a, you know, Whatever BDCC you are mining, let's keep few BDCC hold for one year, maybe four year, few for a, for a year, few for just six months. Just tune your phone on when you're doing presentations, mate. For just say. And remaining, you can you know cash out regularly. So if you're having hundred BDCC, allocate few BDCC. Oh, now he's looking at his phone. Uh, you know, uh, for like four four years, hundred or one year, six months, you can plan your. Uh, this uh, BDCC. Oops. Right. Um, does anyone else want to ring now, him? Now so we have covered we almost have... everything. Now we will get on to the uh, boomerang thing. 
So I hope we are not left out with any topic on this. String him on WhatsApp if you want. So very quickly, we will close all this and we will get on to Boomerang. Let me help you with Boomerang. Oh God, I'm over this already. I said so, I wasn't going to so do this, guys. I actually can't us, do it anymore. Oh, you know, just, I'll, I'll, I'd say she's doing my head in. Just but, uh, I mean, what are we learning from this? <clears throat> Uh, six five. So if you want to ring him up, that's his phone number, and uh, just do this. It's quite quite amusing, really. I'll see if I can ring him on a WhatsApp number. Okay, so a new uh, product has been introduced to We Are All Satoshi platform, and uh, on We Are All Satoshi, we will be we are able to buy licenses of Boomerang. Really. Let me just Didn't know that. Why don't you guys tell me this exciting shit? Ring him. Here we go. Ringing trash shit. Grabbing your phone. Look, he looked down at his phone. There he is. He just turned his phone off. But if he's anything like me, he'll have WhatsApp on his screen. And it'll ring. Oh, shit. All right. To turn it up. So boomerang subscriptions we'll are them. available on VR All Satoshi VAS system, and you can buy this uh, boomerang subscription from this section over here on VAS. Once you buy a subscription, uh, you know you have this description over here that your uh, licenses have been bought and your status is active. Pick up your phone, So on the VAS dashboard. You need to have a minimum of five hundred dollars oh, to buy license. So no one number would one, be bringing them. License number two, oh, license number brilliant. three, license number four, license number five. I don't want to get out of bed. Thousand dollars, five thousand, oh, and ten thousand. Right. So whatever license phone you are that, purchasing phone, over here, the crypto you need to submit your MetaMask there. wallet address as well. Hey, we still got June in purchase. here. Was she chicken off now? Whichever address you Jude mention over here, that address gets for whitelisted, everyone. and you will be able so I wonder how many to people access got the listen to this shit on that particular <coughs> address. Oh, there we go. W so please make sure that whenever you purchase comment. a license, boomerang license, you can you must put your metamask no wallet address as well. Once you do that, this DAP will be available to you from first of uh, March. But before that. You will also get a beta testing <coughs> flash loan of a limited value with which you can get your hands on experience on this now, app. Before you start, of course, you're going to get you 300 to multiplier flash address. loan, but that will be accessible to you from 1st of uh, March. March, hopefully. But before that, oh. like the trainers, you will also get a smaller amount of flash loans. Oh, can you see his time on his clock? To act, to oh, get very your good. Hands oh, yes. So he's up late. App. Oh, you're good. Now, before you start, oh, we better start building you need a, to um, connect your MetaMask wallet address. We better start building a file or trash shit. You know, your journey to this amazing I'll come back to you in a minute, Carl. platform begins. Trash. Now, you will have the flash loan limit sanctioned to you and this, it will be displayed over here. Of course, there are going to be lots many changes in the DAP UI. So, I can't as believe of I didn't now, actually have a file on trash shit already. And in that, the trade limit, total trade limit, that's the flash loan credit limit that will be sanctioned to you, will be displayed over that. here. Of this, you can use maybe a smaller or bigger oh, amount to God. put in for every trade. I I had and that way, your trading limit will exhaust. Right. Once your trading limit exhaust, you need to again resubscribe the packages. Hi, Vera. Again, you will Vera. receive Sorry, the Vera. flash loan, and this, uh, this by journey will continue for you. Um, so, for entire amount of flash loan, whatever profit you are making, they directly get credited into your Vatamask wallet. And uh, uh, you know, this all feature helps you earn on every single click. We will Everything do a live demonstration as well, but before that, two you need to understand later. what are the steps involved to get, uh, you know, the the best trade from this arbitrage. Best trade. So milk money. Get your milk money while it's hot. Five steps to boomerang. 
We have prepared this presentation to and help you understand oh my God, how do you trade this, do on Boomerang. So there are basically five steps to successful trades on Boomerang. Yeah, no, there, yes. <coughs> okay, so yes. Step number one: prepare your MetaMask wallet address. It's just uh, you need to whitelist your eh? address and you need to connect this name. MetaMask address to the DAP. Only then you will Trish. be able to trade. Shit. Then you go to market opportunities. G market opportunities is the section where AI so helps India? you with the pair so suggestion for arbitrage yep. along with the profit and, percentage. Uh, All right. So th that's step number two. Then you go to the to borrow flash loans. Flash loans is already sanctioned by you. All you need to take a small India. portion India. of this flash loan and you need to put a trade value. So maybe you can select any coin and you can put in this value. So borrow flash loan, then select arbitrage pair. Once you are uh, you have confirmed the uh, borrowing coin and the number of that coin, then you can choose the arbitrage coin, maybe Wmatic. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So that way AI will suggest you the profit percentage if it's at all possible and it will give you all the indicators as well. What's the gas fees, uh, how much uh, profit amount you will have. That's almost $1.27 because we are trading with $100, uh, $100 USDT. And the third, uh, the fifth point the is third. confirm. Once you confirm this. It, it gives you a, a pop-up to confirm, to have an attention and uh, it will ask you, yeah, ask your MetaMask address so to too. confirm the transaction and sanction the gas fees. So once you confirm the gas fees on your MetaMask wallet, the trade will be executed by the smart contract and you will see a notification, your trade has been successfully huh. done. Transition completed successfully. And you can check this transaction. That's his address. Is that right? In the transaction history. That's his phone number. So you can see we traded with USDTW Matic. He said that's his address. Uh, go to the hash power, hash, hash, Should transaction hash code. And you can see that's the funny, live transaction hash code on the blockchain. You can see over here, we borrowed oh, from Aave protocol, lending protocol. Okay, How much did let's we have a look at his address. 100 USDT and it was swapped to WMATIC and it went through all the arbitrage trading and within a block creation, within a block mm -hmm. creation, the loan was again paid back to the uh, lender along with the lender's Man. fees. Lender's fees is 0.05%. Alright, let's go back to here. Go directions. Oi. Lenders fees is 0.05%. Oh, right. Yeah. And 100 USDT borrowed. They are paid back along with the lenders fees and the profit percentage 1.2754. It gets credited automatically into our MetaMask wallet address. Before this call, I have already shifted all my USDT into the exchange. So you can see this is fresh deposit over here. Well, theoretically, see, that, there's no reason why that's not back, address. I sent Copy all address. my USDT to my exchange. <coughs> now, this is what I'm having is recently um, deposited from this well, trade that we hog. executed the in on Boomerang. So you can see all the kind trade, exciting, all the though. transactions are available on this uh, uh, you know, uh, of this transaction yeah, history, oh, and you can go through any transaction hash code. If you open this, this was link W Ethereum. Uh, so we borrowed, link. I'm sorry, this is USDC coin. Uh, we straight it was. Right. Let us check uh, this. Somewhere we had like 11%. Oh, Let God. me just check. Okay, so that's that's him. That's his phone number, and he'll be in here somewhere. Anyways, anyways, a failed so business coach. So this this uh, boomerang helps you make profit on every arbitrage really. trading.
on every trade that you execute it will always be profitable because the smart contract makes sure the trade is executed in a single transaction in the single block creation uh, and they are executed only if the profit is at about. all possible have you ever one of such at somebody's a, um, profit, obviously we've got to get the that trade address. will not execute the flash tone well, theoretically that's his and email will, address the, the the transition will not happen and it's just you can see many transactions have failed because they were in the real time not possible we're looking at his website address is that right all right, right. So this gives selling. us an opportunity that right. we can so that's an old get so profit on every single <laughs> dream click. catcher. So, so this these are the well. five steps involved. Let me quickly uh, the dream go catcher. through these five steps. Well, a few startups. So first step was preparing your MetaMask wallet address. Uh, Make sure your MetaMask address is whitelisted. Yes, then I did get your email, Jerry. I've got a video coming up at so one o'clock today in four hours. Go to the wallet. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. And you um, must have some unfortunately, I kind of already knew all that well stuff anyway. Wallet, but I would like to find the, the gas fees. Oh, hold on a minute. Now go to the I shut him up. DAP. I can't turn him As down. Now, I, I would like to find the Instagram on, account. If you give me the Instagram account of Brenda Chanda's screen, that would be wallet, something I couldn't get because I couldn't reply to your emails. But thanks. Perform arbitrage training. But yeah, we've got a video DAP. that's going to be on at one this o'clock your, about the rise and fall uh, of know, Bitcoin, Rodney, like. and Brenda Chunga. I have already She's going to be locked up soon well. anyway. But don't, didn't so hear it from me. So your MetaMask wallet is connected, and you are now ready for the second step. Yeah, the second step is somebody else market opportunities. Which I can't say his go name. to market opportunities, and you know before you go to the market opportunities, make sure right, that so kind of your user now. states are clearly you know visible. Many a times what happened is due to unstable networks, these user states don't reflect properly. So make sure that your user statistics are, you know, so this is meant to be where trash shit then lives. you go to market opportunities. The guy that's talking right now, going by his it business show address. You, it will display all and the been trades to India, mate, and this is what it's like. possible along with the profit percentage as well. Right? You only need to choose yeah. a trade so right now, Between two trash coins, it, which makes could the be most talking profit, to you from this shanty town here. LDU. Who knows? Right. So you that choose there. a pair that's making the most profit. Saw him in his computer. And you Hello. basically take loans in the first, so anyway. first coin. So your first coin becomes the coin Let's to be borrowed from out the about flash it. loan. For this example, we are having USDT over here. And the second coin is the coin to be arbitraged. Okay. So this domain name used against. to be his, right? That's we have the pneumatic over here in this example. All right. Now it's this so you arbitrage between two coins. So we go to archive. So the first step was to prepare your wallet. Second step was to identify the possible Thanks for your help, Jerry. For the trading in market opportunities. Appreciate it. Your market opportunities yeah, looks just like, like to get the. Then you go to just check out the chat room the address of the friend so, of Brenda Chungas. So over here, you can see the Boros action. It looks like one of the slums. In that, you need to choose a near coin in an apartment. suggested by Yeah, Ian. I don't know. Sometimes it's actually that easy. And this, you need to put a value to it. It's only ever been once. So the borrowing coin, USD here, and we put a number to it. This much here coin we, we are borrowing. I bet it and after day that, it. as you enter, one of you those know, failed business. He would have had to work for four weeks to get this one going. Bottom. Oh, no you pensions. You can see if we select any coin Jesus, over here. Set it. That is assumed W Ethereum. And we are putting our value. In billions. <clears throat> Great. I mean, they've only got one. So you see the USD, USD price. Price in dollars. So this much amount gets reduced from your flash loan credit limits. Oh, does it really? Right. So you must consider lender fees as well, 0.05%. Right. And this is the section where you put in your first coin that you choose to right, images. That's the coin you borrow. Your profits will also reflect in this coin and your loan will also be get paid in this coin that you choose mm. to borrow. Then last, yeah. uh, fourth step <laughs> is to funny. choose Here's the Here's a certificate from him that claiming that he's authentic. Choose to go to AI aggregator and choose the the coin which you are going to arbitrage Can't against your borrowed coin so scroll down to the ai aggregator section we'll work Put, select the coin that you want to trade with here we have wmatic and artificial intelligence oh God, these are the other ones the profit percentage as well as the gas fees so once you do this 
you need to choose a coin. All right, let's go find him on Facebook, eh? To be it's going arbitraged. to be more exciting. I'll have to go grab his name again, though. So that way you can see the profit and as well as the amount of profit you will make. This is a loss making trade, so it will not execute. And even you, you, you can see the so you gas guys fees need to here. have faith that this is so not working. You need to consider all these parameters. Let me go back here and before go before you trade, Ooh. before you execute the trade. So this is an example. Technically speaking, see, they could uh, theoretically you know, pre-record this now, couldn't they, and just and play the, the video? Percentage is displayed over here. Gas fees is displayed over here. So that's here. where trash shit right. theoretically should live. The last thing you need to do is confirm. As you Dream press catcher. confirm, once the everything there he is. Uh, you know ha you have checked and uh, is the uh, man you have verified, you press confirm. Once trash shit. You press confirm button. Your Where trade will cheap be five dollar glasses. Well, let's make it three dollars. And once your trade will be executed, so you now will we can the come profit. back here. So the we're going to revise these five steps. First step is to Get prepare your MetaMask it. wallet address. Second step is to go to market opportunities. Third step is to choose the coin to be borrowed. Select coin that Definitely is him, borrowed. Though. Put a value to it. How much coin do you want to trade with? That amount of uh, USD will be reduced from your flash loan. Uh, fourth Definitely. is to choose your arbitrage coin. There that should goes. be WMATIC over here. Twice, didn't and fifth is to confirm. Must be the Zoom Once you follow these five down. steps, post trade confirmation, you will receive a notification okay, and so a, got a in gas here once. confirmation on your MetaMask wallet. And once you do that, your trade will be executed we'll back to and here. you can find that trade in your transaction history. You can check the, uh, you know, the transaction hash code and this amount will be reflected. The profit amount will be reflected on your MetaMask wallet address. So this is as simple as it could be. As simple. This is that was how as simple. you will be able to make profits on every single trade. Wow. The user interface, Boomerang. Uh, I watched the entire the video. Artificial was intelligence. People and and okay, can you give me the link to the video? And perhaps... They make sure that your trades and are And this isn't happening now. She's still recruiting people. Whatever flash code that has been sanctioned to doesn't you. doesn't make sense that. Because I know something a about her that most people don't. And that's cool. The give me the links, please. If you did, that'd be awesome. Your MetaMask Thank you. Directly, you uh, won't even need to withdraw. Where's he gone? Over here. Where's Trash? Let me quickly take you to this Excel sheet again, oh, so is. that you can understand how much profit you can make and how this profit you can make. Entire thing uh, ten thousand dollars in the red before you even start. And where does that money go? And why do you need to pay it? Oh, don't tell us that. Minus D. All right. Three. So Trash it. I wish uh, we've got to get this um, Jake uh, Gamble guy back in it. So over he's, here you can see. He's the license to do reverse lookups on people. I'll give you a simple uh, example. Okay, do you want to watch this? How this and how much can you get from this? Just a second. Spreadsheets, eh? All right, let me just tell you so you don't have to watch it. You can make $6,000 right. profit if you invest before. So this spreadsheet helps you understand the how much profit you will be able to if make. You don't, no and also you're going to spend 5,000 hours. Let us assume that hours. you are purchasing a package of $10,000. $10,000 with a multiplier of 300 that you're going to get initially. Change it to 200 and because this is what's going to be after the first of March. Let us keep $1,000. And average profit that you will make. And don't forget you paid somebody a thousand dollars once somebody signs and up. And the profit percentage of platform fees is five percent. So now, if you are having a, fees. if you are having a package of ten thousand, you will be sanctioned a flash loan amount of three million. If you are considering an average trade a value of thousand, you will require three thousand number of people. trades. To exhaust this money. flash Brenda loan. But if you are making a profit of at least 1% million, on this flash loan amount, uh, for the profit years. that you are going to make If she got 20% of that, you can work at how wealthy she's meant to be. So from 10,000, you made a profit of 30,000. million from of his this, involvement. Let's reduce, in the, let's deduct your initial package value. And again, this goes into resubscription. Again, you are resubscribing with a package of 10,000. So 20,000 minus 10,000, it's uh, 20,000 left. Now, the loan fees, the, loan the lender's fees. fees, must be also deducted. That's 0.05% of this 3 million. Of the That's 1,500. Even that is 
reduced from the profit and the platform fees on profit. If the profit is 30,000, 5% of 30,000, it will be uh, 1,500. Oh, so if right. we reduce everything from this, you following this, Rob? The you get your credit card out, haven't you, Rob? Cost, the lenders. So it's very exciting today, guys. A bit flat, to be honest. The platform fees, oh, you are still podcast. getting 17,000. We have not yet considered gas fees. Let us assume for 300, uh, 3,000 transactions, we will require at least a gas fees of 500. Let's reduce that as well. Right. You are still making a profit. Yeah. Net no profit guarantees that the platform 16, won't miraculously fall over. One hundred. Just as you, uh, everyone pays, and I'll come up with some in excuses. Sixteen thousand net hundred. Oh. Uh, Sixteen thousand five hundred as net profit. Hey, this looks profit. exciting. Now let us assume that you are sitting for like eight hours a day. You're doing nothing and sitting instead. for eight hours a day, and you are taking an average time to execute a trade of five minutes. <laughs> that way the number of trades you need to perform is 3000 and it will take 30 days for you almost 31 days for you to exhaust this 3 million loan but once you exhaust the 3 million loan you are bound to get 16500 it's it's that simple calculation so in every 31 days you will exhaust this 30 uh, 3 million and you will make a profit of 16500 that means you know if for for every every flash loan if you are considering 3% that's million of dollars in flash loan and you are making a 1% of it that's thousands of dollar of profits and if you consider the vas calculation i mean the vr all satoshi if you are if you are putting your arbitrage account onto your weaker side, you will get five percent kickback and check match as well. Assuming that you are mm. you are uh, an idiot, uh, you are sponsoring your arbitrage account through your uh, premium account, you will get five percent kickback. So, oh, so you get five percent uh, kickback of 10, from your own account. Five hundred check match of ten percent you are claiming. Oh that's God. again thousand dollars. So sixteen thousand five hundred oh, plus fifteen hundred, you are almost making. Oh, what's he supporting these guys? Then, <sighs> if you're having a team, does no one listen to the words seven point two million dollars just got transferred out of this platform and into a hot wallet so people can exactly steal it? Exactly following your trend. Really? They are exactly copying you. So if you have three traders on your left and three traders on your right, this is gonna add additionally. Six thousand dollars to your income in total twenty four thousand. Let's reduce it to just fifteen thousand. Let's reduce it to just ten thousand. So with just a single time investment of ten thousand, you will be able to make at least ten thousand to fifteen thousand every month. We have considered almost everything. If you uh, you know trade with higher value, maybe five thousand, you will be able to exhaust three million in just like seven days. In just seven days, that means in a month you will be able to resubscribe for like uh, six four or twenty four six five or thirty five times. See the amount of profit you are doing. Right, what have we got? We got um, transit. So it all depends on how bright guy. fast, so I'm sure how soon while he's be making able some to exhaust of these statements. And considering if, they sold if you are making just a profit of 0.7 of these packages at 10,000, you know, that is such high trade volume, billion? profit gets reduced. You are still Why don't they hire a team of people to work in an office and use the system? Because if you employed it's staff that and you just funded them the $10,000, and you told so them they I have think, to do uh, arbitrage training all day long. Side. Couldn't you if create you a whole workforce in a, uh, in a, a building and make lots more money than sharing them. this with the people to make? Uh, if you not, know, why don't they just keep the this to themselves? We have already completed. We have covered you know? almost all the topics. Still, if any topics and surely are left out, that these and, indiscrepancies uh, between uh, no, platforms will be, be tidied up soon if they start to realize that people are making lots of money out of it. Here we go. The next training we will cover.
first so, question uh, uh, what uh, are your that, grades um, uh, and uh, uh, how what what how do you want me to conclude this is from cereal thank you so much Cyril, i'm going to go ahead and allow you to ask your question you typed it in there so go ahead and ask oh you have to put your video on huh here we go cereal mm -hmm. garcia yes ma'am i need your video on i'm looking to see where it is <laughs> <laughs> Next to where your the microphone is. Oh, it's here. Next to the microphone. Next, uh, no, I'm not seeing the the camera. I'm just, okay, I'll oh, answer your question then. Okay. Here we okay. go. All right. So this I think I already have his question. If you buy a 500 package and it it's and it is completed. Can we buy a thousand or five thousand when buying the second time? Of course, you can upgrade your packages, but that won't be possible uh, after after now. We'll okay, that now. will be possible uh, once the meta, uh, you know, the MVP is launched. Right. For resubscription, you can increase your value or you can That's decrease your value there. as well. So that is of course possible when you buy the second time. And this is where he lives. Very good. So um, these masterclass, th again, thank you so much, Trashy, for this information-filled education. You are definitely a master at conveying com complex concepts and processes into digestible, easy-to-understand information. Okay. Thank you for your time, your energy, and excitement this guy's about these the yes, wild done. projects that have been brought to us by Chavez. I really appreciate the time that you have spent with us. Your master classes are always, um, always welcome. We look forward to the next one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that concludes our master class training uh, this afternoon. Tomorrow, uh, we will have both the presentation and we'll have um, question and answer breakout rooms. So we'll be able to have trainers there that will allow you to ask questions directly to them as well as right. share your screen if uh, need be. Thank you for being here. You could have been any place else today on a yeah, Sunday we'll afternoon, but you chose to be the masters and the leaders in your success oh, by being them. here and learning from Trashy. So Trashy, who's just at the You'll presentation, this is his website. Day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Um, same uh, channel, as I said, same bat channel, same bat cave. We'll see you tomorrow at UK Prime as well as US Prime. That's all it is for today. Thank you. Thank you guys again and all the best to all the community members. Wish you all the best. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go back to listen to the last part of Vera's conversation, and we'll also bring in, um, bring in the recordings of Mark, sorry, Carl Miller, who was co-hosting her along. So we just sort of, I didn't really want to go in there and put this stupid presentation on, um, but I, I got hooked into it because people were obviously chatting and I got too enticed with it. But we didn't, I don't know, did we learn anything from that meeting? Um it's just crap. It's just booze and ways. There's seven point two million dollars have been transferred out of these here. I can't believe this wrong information. Well done, Anderson. Whatever. This is their chat room. So somebody's just gone in there and uh, done that. So she's left that webinar. That's good. Um, we've rang up Carl Miller. We've rang up Transit. He won't answer his phone because he's a coward. Um, but in the meantime, what we'll do? I'll just put. Um, this message back here of Vera's, we've only got about five minutes left. So I'll finish this off and then we'll go back to Vera. So I'm just going to put a timestamp in for that. And to take his money out, he thought the Keith was innocent. Sorry about the audio oh. quality. And did he lose money? Yeah. No. Yep. Oh, well, actually, I'm not sure about that, to be honest. There you go. Yeah. Got How do you feel out. about hearing those stories? Oh, I tell you what, you know, I, I would not like to, to be in the same room as that person. Yeah. yeah. And, and <laughs> we said before we went live that karma's a bitch. And karma yes. will catch up with any of these bastards, and that's something their own share. karma. Their own karma back on them. Yeah? yeah. The next mirror they look at, I hope it strikes them. Yeah. yeah? 
What, what do you think, being an Australian, living in Australia, knowing that Cal Miller has kind of in, in, in coerced you into doing something, like what would be an, a, an outcome that would make you feel like, ha, ha? Or jail. It, jail. I've got a noise. There you go. Jail. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and he deserves it. And, and within jail, you know, there's ways, ways to get to, around people in jail just to be really, really given a hard time in jail to the point where... He's put in solitary confinement for, for his own safety. We, yeah? We'll just put him in the um, kitty fiddlers. In the dog box. No, the, the kitty fiddlers box. area. <laughs> and we'll just put a wee sign. So what back. Rob Maybe just said, if I refreshed the, the um, so he enjoys his time in prison. Oh, the page that I was just in, at, eh? they've removed our comments. <laughs> uh, I just think so I'm just going to um, go reopen why tab. Why shouldn't Carl be held accountable uh, so they're obviously doing their action. best to police everybody now i will he see the comments be held accountable for because they'll only make them Absolutely. invisible can you think of any reason why he shouldn't uh, no it's a lie it's a cheat it's obtained property there's another reason section. those comments it's, might not be there means, do you think so many when people? the live finishes yep. it goes so into my problem that I had with Keith uh, was when somebody was sitting there on the phone telling me a that different mode uh, uh carl so had good be, intentions let's we look it's so hard to swallow because i've been Following these no, guys around for so long, no, I've, I've no. every every single day I go onto Zoom. Carl Miller's in there trying to tell people to, he's clever. Hey, I'm going to make you sick at the moment. Okay, Carl now Miller's it's gone into chat the, mode, Rob. True love. Oh is my god! I would scam. love to get to that woman and just tell Man. her what he's really like. Yeah. He's grooming her. We think it's JoJo. Jojo is a lady who has these glasses on that you can't see. Is her Jojo? Eyes. Am I, have I got that right? Is Jojo and, uh, like doing short, rude things with Carl Miller? To get really involved in I know that might make you vomit in the back up and teaching her the ropes. Oh, oh is she uh, Australian based? Uh, they streamed I'm an hour sure ago and they got I'm nineteen sure views. Carl might be into a long distance relationship. Now, just to put that in perspective, guys. We're, we're kind of thinking. We've, my I streamed three hours ago, and we have 124 views. So thank you very much. Looks on Zoom, but no one's interested in your shit, your scammers. <laughs> when we heard that, we went. <laughs> um, right, I just wanted to get more photos oh, of this guy. This on Zoom. He, he wouldn't put, be putting. He'd be putting pictures of other people Train there, shit. other oh. other men there. You know. Oh, oh, I don't know. But anyway, a lot of this information is all sort of. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what drives. I mean, I think. Um, I think I said in their last interview that a lot of people in these Zoom meetings are actually getting their loneliness fulfilled, and I think there are a lot That's of lonely right. people that aren't part of anything. Right. And I, I kind he of get that lonely. He, he, he's lonely alone because he's... All right, we're just looking he, at trash he has low self-esteem old website that he's taken offline or hasn't paid the domain you know, review for. He's a predator. He, he just, we'll, we'll just cling oh, on to anyone connect. who will listen to it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no, it does. Hey, Vera, you're absolutely awesome. Okay. And, um, go to your barbecue. Now, cook some sausages. Yeah, I'll go cook some sausages. They'll be vegan sausages. It might really have two phone numbers. But yeah, I know okay. I've got the correct phone number. At the end of this video, as I'm actually going to, yeah. um, I'm going to show some of Carl Miller. I'm also going to play the recordings that you shared with me and any other information just to really throw Carl Miller under the bus. Oops. Absolutely. And I know uh, on Miller, the railway tracks as well after the bus, if he survives. Yeah. yeah. Now, if Carl Miller is watching this, which I'm pretty sure he will one day, have you got anything nice that you would like to... Would you, what would you, any, what would you like to say to him? I hope doom, gloom, death, pain, suffering, just, just magnify and, and just come your way, your own karma. Yeah, so that was, um, that was that. I'm just grabbing as much information as I can from this website. So now what I want to do is let you guys listen to uh, the recordings of Carl Miller. And these are pretty shocking. They're not too long, but they're quite. I'm glad they called them. Now he got really angry with them once he realised that he'd forwarded these to me. So have a listen to Carl talking to Vera after she'd lost money, but then sort of encouraging her to do something with her money. And then the second recording is basically him full of excuses and what like they're all in the same boat. So it's just best if you listen to them. I'll let them play, and hopefully they'll play when I'm not. I'm confident. Okay, mate. All right, well... So that isn't Vera talking. There's actually Vera's partner talking, and, um, and I'm no good with names, so I'm not going to pronounce his name. Sorry. Yeah. Do you, know, do you know what the timeline on this is going to be by the time we get our money? 
say again. Do you know how long before we get our money? What what you think the timeline would be? Well, he's he's committed to focusing on we are all Satoshi from tomorrow. I mean, what the time is now? Can't see a clock at the moment in the dark. Um, for a week, and then focusing on Vav for a week. So nothing's going to happen in the next week. Is that what you're saying? No, because. Sometimes things work in people's favour. Now, he might find that everything is ticking nicely with We Are All Satoshi and he only focuses on it for two days. And then he focuses on Bav. Yeah. You asked the question, what are the timelines that I'm aware of? And that is the timelines that I'm aware of. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, things blew up negatively with Vidilok. Something might blow up positively and free up his time and he can switch focus early. Yeah. Okay. But the only timeline that I have heard and that's on a Zoom that he that is on the internet is that he's focusing on did he look until today? We are all Satoshi for a week, then back to Vav for a week to catch everything up. This is me to be Sam Lee. Mm, the um, okay, mate. The, aren't, I'm, I'm, we're, we're not the only ones bothering you. I'm sure you signed up other people. When you said there's, there was 10 or 20 million dollars, um, that means that there'd be a lot of people that are waiting for their money, yeah? Not just us. Absolutely. Are they, I, I haven't got a cent out of that. Aren't, aren't that, aren't, oh, you haven't? Correct. I didn't, I didn't put a withdrawal request in as soon as I got half of my money back. I got nothing back. Sorry, I've you, 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 got you, half of their money back because from as soon as the first day finished, they put their withdrawal request in. From VAV, you're saying, yeah? Correct. Well, we haven't got, we haven't got anything. Um, yeah, neither have I. So, yeah. so aren't, is it, aren't your phones running hot? Like, how many people did you sign up? Uh, isn't your phone running hot? People saying, where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? Like we are? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that drain you, though? Uh, yes. No, yes and no. <laughs> yes, because, yeah, I'm constantly being asked what's going on what's going on and i can't answer the question yeah. so i'm not in his brain i'm not in his country at the moment he's not in my country he's not at home here yeah. but no because people realize that video look is just one cog in a big machine of businesses and he's focused on that one cog at the moment not much there. Mm. Now, well, that to be you are only load. focused on VAV, but other people in my team are focused on Vidi Look, We Are All Satoshi, Stable Dow, Stable Opinion, histor historical projects <laughs> like <laughs> Dowverse, well, Hyperverse, Hypernation, now Dowversal. Yeah. So they they're got a bigger picture than you. Your your picture is just Vav. But then when you know, once we get Vav clear, then you know Vera's got the other fight of the other one. You know, I don't know what's yes, going on. Yes, and I haven't even touched the other one yet. What's going on with that? Well, as far as I know, Dalversal is a fully fledged metaverse platform. <laughs> And effectively, they have bought the membership of Hyperverse and Hypernation, Hypercosmos, and Satoshi AI. But but but, that, but that that's a bit different. I, that's why Vera's not worried about that. That that wasn't you know we'll give you money back in two days, was it? That was you still there, Rob? Days. I'd be interested to know whether you yes. can see my comments. Yeah. Under what was this it? Three hundred and thirty days or something? I doubt it. Um, depending on when you I started, know, they've been removed. Yeah. Now, 
and I would have been blocked. What I've heard so far give is a thumbs up, a eh? longer than that. Yeah, give thumbs How down. long is it? But we can report this video. So I'm going to report the video. Uh, put it down as spam, before misleading. Before Vera gets anything on that, yeah? Just game forward. Yeah. Not that this makes what any difference. What has it difference. been? Has it been six months? No, no, hang on. Galversal is uh, two weeks. Let's see if I can find. Oh, Galversal. How much did we put into that? How much did who put into did that? You, how much did Vera put into that? At the moment, I have no idea because she hasn't completed the move into that. Dalversal has bought the membership because they're a metaverse. They want people. Oh my God, this sounds so stupid. Right? Right. Okay. <laughs> Hyperverse, hypernation of all. But but I, I know Vera put some money in. When you say she's not completed, I know she's given the money. She's given the money. Now, listen. Galversal bought the membership. Right. But there is a clause in the hypernation, a hyperverse, that hyperverse cannot move you to another platform without your permission. Right. Okay. So she has to log into her hyperverse account right. and approve the moving of assets from hyperverse to hypen to Galversal. Should she do that? Is that something she should no, do? No, no. she shouldn't do. No, because I do not know anything about Diversal yet. Oh, he does now. I haven't looked into it. Mm. He was advising people the other day. Anything. So everybody that doesn't log in technically is still in Hyperverse. Right. But I don't know what the implications of not approving or a actually approving. Because I'm too too busy with where all Satoshi at the moment, and now this blowing up of video look. But Vera's got an account with Satoshi too, hasn't she? Well, she's got a membership account, yeah, but there's no money in it. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. What was what was the one? What was the one when we come and seen you before we come and seen you? She tipped in a couple of grand. What was that for? That was stable Dow. No, she's got nothing in stable Dow. She she'd given twelve hundred or two thousand or something for That's hypernation. Nation. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's the same as hyperverse. Oh, it's the same. It ended up being the same, did it? They've ended up. Well, it's it's on hold. Hmm. Okay. It's a whole separate issue. Mm. And at the moment, I'm not even looking at hyper anything. Right, okay. Until all this sorts out, yeah? Correct. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You just bang your head okay, against mate. the wall. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm asking stupid. I'm asking stupid questions. It's just that I don't understand it. You know. No, they're not stupid questions. I they're just not understood right. questions. Yeah, I don't understand it. So all I look at is all I look so at is there's only money going one way. You know. The guy that was running the presentation looks like his business and address is here. And that, yeah, that's a concern. And that's him there. I'm, look, I'm seeing some. I'm, I know. I'm, Everybody I'm, does. I'm seeing some red flags all <laughs> over the shop. But, but the the only thing that makes us sit back and think was is see, you know we're we relaxed find with about this guy. it, so we're thinking on you know, well we don't really care what Sam Lee does and is and whatever you know we're our you know we're, we're dealing with you. Yeah, and that's that's why I said to Vera, that's what friends are for. Whatever this money that she's talking about putting into We Are Satoshi, don't. She's not in the mindset to to take on another project. Oh, look, if, if she could see that, you know, th th there's a return and these people are honest yeah, and it's all above board, why not, you know? Why not? Because she will, I said to her, because from this point forward, she just might not have the mindset to trust any <laughs> It's shocking, isn't it? Thanks for still being here, Susie. I thought I was by myself. Unless she sees the, the results. <laughs> yeah, oh, here's the certificate. Mindset, absolutely. Mm. 
Because hyperverse, then hypernation, you know. There's another eight, ten grand there, you know. No good, no good. No good. And as far as I know, she will get the money from hyperverse and hypernation through Dalversal. But you're you're saying don't tra- don't don't transfer. Yeah, because I don't know what the implications are. I don't know the platform. Oh. All I know is what people have said in Zooms. Yeah. Is that it looks okay, but I haven't looked at it as closely as they have. Mm-hmm. So, as far as I know, they may be not understanding the mathematics or oh. they might be putting more money in themselves in order to get more money out down the track. Getting in trouble. Who owns... Who, get, who, who owns that? Is that the same... Diversal? Co- yeah. Um, okay. I don't know his name. I've Group no longer seen exists. him on Zoom. Okay. Uh, as far as we know... We've seen him on a Zoom. I'll jump into a few mm-hmm. Zoom meetings after Whether we listen to this recording. Or a real person or I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I know that one of my um, Hyper Nation uh, Discord uh, friends was going to fly from America to Dubai to meet this guy. Whether he does or has, I don't know yet. Okay. Scammer, scammer, pants on fire. Look, D- Dubai is not that big of a place, you know. Um, True. Dubai is not that big of a place. If, you know, if, if Vera really gets worried about it, I suppose we can send someone there and say, hey, I'm sure if they rock up to Sam Lee's offices, there'll be one, two, three, five thousand people working there or whatever. It'll be a serious setup, won't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all the people that went to Satoshi Table met those people. <clears throat> all right, okay. And they're people from Australia, yeah? Yeah, yeah okay. Janet, Kate, Yvonne, Janet's husband. Oh, they went over to Dubai, did they? Well, Janet was already in uh, Europe on a holiday. So she just went on a side trip down to Dubai for the square table. But Yvonne and Kate, they went over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All expenses paid. Oh, fantastic. Oh, he might be doing it again. Fantastic. Okay. So they've, they've been to his operation. They've met, met him. That's the first time they've actually met him face to face. Okay. Who is Carl talking to? So is um, Vera's um, Vera's husband or boyfriend okay. or partner? I'm not oh, quite well. sure of that part. You know, like Next clip has got Vera. That's talking the only to thing him. that gives us comfort, Carl. The fact that you're relaxed and you know you're saying it's coming and yeah, we d- we were quiet for a few days. We thought we'd just let you be. You know, we we didn't want to be the one. You know those those business contacts that just keep calling and calling and calling over money we're not like that but it is worrying because nothing's come back at all not one dollar yes i know i I, i've got nothing out of well here we go i'm in the same boat as you hypernation Hypernation. i got a few hundred out of hypernation you got a few i got 30 percent of what i put into hyperverse yeah but it's i don't have any control over there i don't have any visibility it's not Sam that that is in control of those. He has influence over the people that does, but he can't stop them and start them or anything. He has influence. And if they won't pay their hyper commitments, all he can do is wait for somebody to arrest those people and then he can release information to the government to the authorities in different countries. What, what do you mean arrest those people? Whoever is in charge of Hyper. Oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> Sam Lee? Jesus. Yeah. But now he owns Vidilook. He owns it now. So he has it. to clean it up. 
Oh my god. He owns, he, owns that he, he created that. He has to clean it up. Just looking for some information on trendship while we're listening to a recording of Vera, mm. who I interviewed last owns, night. That was at the start of this video, if you watch the timestamps. does not need any cleaning up. It's moving exactly as so it should. It's just incriminating Carl Miller as a scammer. So that's, that's why we're doing working. it. He created it. He owns it. He's taken on Vidi Look. He will fix it. Then he'll get back to the third one, which he owns, and fix it. Okay. Mm, All right, that. Carl. Well, you're in a sticky situation with your family too. They'd be asking what's happening with the money, yeah? Hang on, you just yawned. I only got sorry. half of that. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, so that was that first recording, and the second one's probably the most incriminating one, so that we'll play that now, and then we'll be... Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys hear these recordings. And also my team... And, and so, so just to groom you job. into listening to this, this is after, this is um, back in September the 24th, and this is Carl either making excuses or encouraging them to move everything over to diverse or uh, I've just listened to it. It's best. Acquiring my own miners so that on day one, which is the 29th, on day one, I know what I'm doing and I, all my people know what they're doing. My people? But you don't have a miner. This is not for you, what, definitely what, not you at the moment. What is that called? That's Vera. That's called Bitcoin mining. Oh, okay. That, that's part of, that's the second product in We Are All Satoshi. All right. All right? Yep. Now, yes, Sam and Chavez set We Are All Satoshi up, but... Sam has stepped away from that and just left it with Chavez. In fact, Chavez got an email yesterday morning, apparently, from Binance. He, and yeah. he's in line for the new technology, new product um, award. Because Listen to this, this is so new and so innovative technology. Taking Bitcoin mining off those expensive machines and doing them on the blockchain in an nft okay anyway yeah as i said Amazing. i rang to let you know dalversal is real yeah so this is four months ago that it is a path to get your hyper money out but it'll be a slow path but i haven't done a deep dive into it as yet we'll hop to it because i've been too busy with uh, we are all Satoshi. Uh, all right. So, is, is it uh, worth my while to register at Dave Del, Del Versal? <laughs> Say that again. Is it worth my? Uh, should I, should I register with Definitely. Dave Versal, or does it automatically go. go across Hyperverse and Hypernation? <laughs> well, that that I don't know. <laughs> I've had a look at registering, or it, it, it starts as automatic, but because of the the contractual obligation by Hyperverse, at least, they can't make you go to another platform. You have to approve it, right? So that is the migration process. If you agree to okay, migrate, who is going to do? You no so longer have a legal has... hold over Hyperverse to give you your money back. If so you migrate, does... I've now been con have confirmed by somebody account. completely independent. Actually, two set somebody's like Pinnicky, who was my upline way up in England. He's been to Dubai as well and met with the Dalversal people several times. Where they operate now? He was part of the Hypernation Army, so he knows both sides: the Hypernation we go. Um, management side Thank and the you. Dalversal side. And he's he's so excited and getting really involved. Take that photo. But the other person was one of the MVPs that I had on Discord who also went and not only was it, he had a bigger account in Hyperverse and Hypernation Bit than almost anybody. He got millions to, to risk. Okay? Wow. Yeah. And he like he came back with Dalversal is real. But really? 
Well, I believe that then. I'm not going to advise you. Of course I'm not. Well, over advising you. All care, no responsibility. Because oh. it just, it, every time I seem to give you Here we advice, go. it just blows up in my face. Oh. I'm just giving you information and leaving it with you to make the decision. Well, I, I, tell, I tell you what, I just did now. I logged into Hyperverse. I, I logged into Hyperverse and it takes me to Hyper Community, right? And it says... Yeah, okay, hang on a sec. Hyper Community appears, and I can't be confirming this or denying it, appears to be just a funnel page for everything. It, it's not actually a platform. It seems to be a funnel page. When you go beyond that page, you are getting into Dalversal. So you have oh, to decide... Dalversal is a carbon copy. Dalversal on of your own. Uh, Hypernations. Yeah. Right. We found the same and code on it. Proceed, that's fine. And you, you're in Dalversal. Your, your assets will be set up the way they're supposed Corporate to be set office. up. Corporate office. Okay. Well, the, the good thing is not okay. only do you get your money go. back eventually, you actually get one and a half times back. Uh -huh. That's well, why you've, you've got to wait so long because they are sweetening the pot. Are but they really? It, it, it's only a small sweetener, but if you've already... Because what moves over is not what you deposited, it, it was what you had pending. I got, I've got about a million dollars pending now, so what? my pending moves across, what? but it might take me 20 years to get that million dollars back out. Well, well, what I did, what I just did was logged into Hyperverse. It took me to hyper-community.com and it says, yes. it says that I have a total of 75,502 HPT. Yeah. Now, what? what that is, is the token that your hyper units will convert to yeah. once you confirm you want to go over to Dalversal. Yeah. Now, hyper, you can't take HPT out. That's, that's an internal token. But you can use it on the platform to rent a planet, rent land, or I think you can rent land with it, or you well, can. Maybe um, that's where it works now. Add, look, you can add to it in some way. Mm. As I said, I haven't done enough investigation. I'm just well, letting you know. Shit's Dalversal is real, from what I've been told. Yeah. Damn. It's <laughs> entirely up to you what you do with Dalversal. Yeah. Well, I'm not recommending it to anybody. I'm not. saying it's real. You have to do your own research from that point. Okay. So, well, it gives you... It, it, it's a simple page. It says withdrawal or withdrawal history. Uh, if you press withdrawal, it's got coin, HPT, chain name, CVN. I don't know what BVN is. C, C for Charlie, V for oh. Victor, N for November, CVN chain name um it's got an ad it enter a withdrawal address okay um as i said i've only gone as far as you have i haven't gone any further and haven't done any research on it yep i just don't have the time like okay. i'm getting up at four the reason i messaged you to say that i'm in bed is because i've been getting up before four o'clock getting on the UK prime time to get the first source of information. Then I've been doing my own global with another guy in England. We've been doing global training and Q&A for up to four hours. Have yeah. you really? Then getting on the US prime time and then answering questions in the Q&A chat yeah, I set bastard. up for people like the Hyper Nation chat. Uh, that I used to admin her. I own this one on Telegram. I set it up. Mm -hmm. And look, the, the numbers are growing 100 a day type of growth. Wow, you're so of pleased. people with questions because they this is all so new to them. Yeah. It's, not just, it's not just put some money in Binance and send it to a platform and buy something in a platform. This okay. is two or three times more complex. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, any, anyway, uh, I appreciate that you're busy, but what I've done is send you a screenshot, um, a screenshot of withdrawal with hypercommunity.com, 
that says the coin is HPT, uh, the chain name is CVN, um, it needs a with enter a withdrawal address. So uh, I'm wondering what withdrawal address you put, like is that with like OKX or Binance or something and, and, the, and the HPT, what will that convert to? Well, I don't know what it'll convert to and I don't know if it has any value outside of the platform and I don't know what platforms, if any, support that chain. Yes. Right? Yep. So, like, when you withdrew from Hyperverse, you could withdraw to a um, BEP20. Was it BEP20? Whatever. Whatever um, network you withdrew on, yep. you had to send it to a network, uh, to a platform that supported that network. Yep. Firstly. Yep. And... And, and token. Well, Eleven followers. so I don't so, know. I don't know. Oh my God. HPT, I've never heard of, and the chain name CVN, I've never heard of. Yeah, and neither. Of, oh well, I've heard of the HPT because I've read a little bit about Galversal, but yeah. I have no idea what that chain is and which platform supports it. You either, if you want my advice. For this issue, no thanks. Yeah. You're going to have to wait. Otherwise, you're going to have to do the research yourself and Google it. Yeah. I just, I, I just don't have any time. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm doing eight-hour days. Oh, Carl. From four a.m. Just helping people with the oh, whole. You're such a good bastard, aren't you? Bitcoin to mining, yeah. NFTs, yeah. connecting to a special D app. That. Decentralized yep. application where nippy. they will manage their miners. It's just a whole yeah many times more intricate than any technology most people have even touched. Yeah, and I'm getting questions as basic as how do I copy paste an address? Oh, yeah, and you take their money. Uh -huh. And these are people that are trying to understand this Bitcoin mining concept. Yeah, must be hard work. On top of NFTs. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Well, but, yeah. but it's fun, somewhat. Yeah. It's fun. All right. Well, I've, I've sent you a, a screenshot of the page. When you get yeah. time, if you can uh, 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 look into, well, the coin is HBT, the chain name, but uh, where that that withdrawal, because it gives you the uh, the option of withdrawing all of it. Seventy-five thousand. Yeah, it's not gonna, that's not going to happen. No. I do know that to start in Dalversal, the first you you bought, use that to buy a pack in the platform. Okay. Yep. So like it's like topping up. You buy a pack in the platform, but the you've got to buy it in stages. You buy a five thousand pack. And it's something like a thousand days you work through that pack and withdraw. You can't even withdraw until you're halfway through or something like that. That's at a slow there. rate, and then the rate picks up. Then once the 5,000 pack is all withdrawn, Jeez, I found some funny you can then use Keep your residual with. to subscribe to a $50,000 pack. <laughs> and you'll work through that. And then if you've got residual, you can subscribe to a half million dollar pack and you work through that. And if the timing is what I've read is correct, in my case, to get uh, $555,000 worth of HPT out will take me 3,000 days. Okay. 3,000 okay. days, 10, 10 years. years. If, I, if I can make 5, 10, 20, 50 million dollars using Bitcoin mining oh, okay. in that time frame. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm going to worry about half a million dollars stuck in hyper community? Oh, of course not, Carl. So, oh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, you know, you're, you're my only sort of connection to know, who knows about this, anything remotely yeah, about I, this. I know, and there is... And I will support you as much as I can in my time frame available. Okay. But in also in my frustration with certain other people around me. You. Yeah, I, 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 so that is very sorry. 
Oh, it's too late. Yeah. He's... Yeah. As soon as he started calling me a scammer and a cunt and other things, oh, he just lost all credibility. Oh, did he? Yeah, well, I can't speak for him, but I'm asking you to help me. Yeah, I will when I can and how I can. As I said, I can't give you information I don't have yet. I think all he's right. actually talking about... OK. Um, all right. Well, I've either see... be patient Your partner. or do the research yourself. If you do the research yourself, well, maybe you can teach me. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah well, I, I, I hardly think that. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I've left it with <laughs> you. Yeah. As I said, I've sent you a screenshot. If you can li- enlighten me in any way, I would appreciate it, OK? I will do what I can. Okay. All right. Okay, All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, well, and I think that was it. That was the recording, and that's probably uh, me too. So I've just got a few comments in the chat room. Gee, crypto G, are you still there? There's some um, wallets we need to crypto tree review. Carl's listening to you. is like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> Actually, there must be another um, recording that I don't have. And that was when he was telling me that if I um, go to Melbourne, that Sam Lee was going to come over there and... So I must have got rid of that one. But anyway, I think I've got it in the video. I'm just curious now. I can't help myself. I have to go have a listen. I th- I'm pretty sure that was the guts. Uh, what have we got? YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Uh, there we are going live. So we go to that one there. Uh, if you click on that there. Yeah, so what you need to do is click on something here. Videos. And there was a video down here I saw this morning. This one here. And I'm sure, I don't know, I must have lost that video. No sound? No, it stopped. No sound for me? No way. Um, You can hear me, can't you? We're going to go crocodile hunting. Now, really? You can't hear me talking. What the hell? Hold up. Uh, I can hear. I can't hear you talking. I can hear me, though. We're going to go crocodile hunting. Now, really? You can't hear me talking. But I can hear me talking. I can hear me talking. I can hear me talking on the iPad. It can't, it can't be me. I've lost my mouse now. What the hell? Hold Here it is. I'll just turn off the sound, turn it back on again. This is what I'm battling with. Uh, I can hear. I can't hear you talking. I can hear me, though. I'm still on... Okay, well, I can hear myself. So what do you mean you can't hear me talking? Um, I just wanted to have a look at this video and see if he mentions the one about um, talking to the uh, scam Lee. Do I mention this? Sam Lee. Now, I don't like Sam Lee. I believe he's a scammer. He's definitely not a bit... Now, in case you're wondering who the two men are, Vera, that's her partner. And uh, he's been corresponding from Sam Lee. Now, I don't like Sam Lee. I believe he's a scammer. He's definitely not a billionaire. He's even said that to me in a chat room himself. I've chatted to him for three hours in a chat room with 3,000 people, one-on-one. Uh, and we had a quite intense... Thing. Anyway, I think you got the point across. Um, so what I was doing in the background there, I can hear you, D. Thank you. That's awesome. Crypto G, I have a question. That's cool. You guys are chatting. So, yeah, so what I've done here, I've got a database of the five that are involved with the, the crypto whalers. Uh, and if you haven't had any to the crypto whalers, you just go to YouTube and they're called Anzac Crypto Whalers. And just to make my life easier, I'm going to go A N Z. What have we got? Crypto whalers. Uh, you guys don't want to get onto a Zoom meeting then, do you? And have a yarn? Uh, could do. Sound is back. Oh, I don't know what's happening with that. 
freaking piss me off, just saying. Okay, so we've got Anzac Crypto Whalers. And what I'm going to do is there. I don't know why I'm not subscribed. I should be subscribed to these beautiful meetings. Oh, now I've got it. Subscribe. And that's them. So what I want to do now is bore the hell out of you guys. I just want to put the link to that in there. I want to put associates. I want to open up her. Oops. Open up him. Open up Yvonne. Make my life easier for future times or anyone that wants any information on these people. Remember, this information is all available. Anyone that wants to do any law enforcement stuff, uh, just reach out to me. Uh, go to dehick.com and look at that. I actually might as well make a box pop up. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Be notified when new videos start. Uh, we have a ton of information, a ton of resources from people all over. So, Next time somebody goes to this page, I can just give people a link and they can literally share the information they want to. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put the link of the Crypto Whalers YouTube account there. And... Oh, why is everything so slow today? Okay, perhaps I don't need to do this with you guys watching. All right, we'll just go through and shut some of these. So that's the Anzac Crypto Whalers page. We've got enough information to make this interesting for this guy. Transit. I haven't seen this one yet, so I'll have to save that in a second. Um, is that another one? How many pages? Is that the same one we looked at before? No, this is new. He's got so many freaking Facebook pages. Obviously... He hasn't really got his life uh, going well, has he? Okay, so there he is there. Don't need that one. I don't think it's going to be any... That one there is gone. Oh, has he got a a company? Oh, goodness me. So he set up a company, Millions Corporates Private... Ugh, limited on the 4th of July 2019 he's the director oh well that's going to be handy to somebody let's have a look at that oh ads removed I don't want ads um, details ad removed click but if that's the name of his company that does add a bit of flavour to it so let's go back to uh, damn did I shut that I did hold up one minute please caller Oh, damn. All right, all right. Sorry, this is boring as hell. We're going to go there. Hopefully that will load. So in the meantime, copy. I go there all the time, and I'm always going looking for their friggin' page. Let's hope the uh, men in black reach out to us today and say, hey guys, what's the address of that money that we should put on hold with Binance? That would be friggin' amazing, wouldn't it? But uh, chance of that happening, guys, don't hold your breath. I'm sort of tired of them. They dropped me like a hot scone because they thought I was trying to profiteer from getting money back from people that have been scammed. <laughs> that made me laugh too. Did it make you laugh? Okay, I haven't got too much for Nevon Murray, but we have got her um, all her details, her husband's name and everything, so we don't really need much from her. And of course, George, who thinks he's a, a tycoon on the internet, which is quite cool. All righty, so we're going back to there. Right, that's them taken care of. Now we wanted to, we've got her taken care of. Ah, trash it. Now we haven't seen this, so trash it. Oh, that's interesting. Who's Sarah? Was that his partner? That could be interesting. Let's have a look. Was that his undercover name? Contacts. No, con female. Oh, maybe that's his partner. 
Oh, well, let's add that to the list. Uh, where are you, trash it? There he is. Might move him up a bit. Oh, no, I won't. Oop, did I just stuff that up? I think I did. Where did he go? Ah, oh, Danny, what have I done? Oh, look, Control Z. What'd you do about Control Z? Oh, there he is. Right, that's better. So, maybe uh, we need to put something down here. We'll put partner. Have I spelled that right? No, I haven't. You guys are partner. All right. And why do we think that's partner? See you, Carl. It's been awesome. Uh, finish that. See you later, Kate. See you later, Yvonne. So who is this? Is a female gender in relationship? Let's have a look to see if she puts. No, it could be a sister. The other real good thing, if you ever are on these people's Facebook pages, uh, it's always good just to add them as a friend. Uh, this guy can't send friend request. wonder why that is. Uh, but you can actually normally go through their friends and look for anyone that's in their family and then message the family and say, hey, do you realise that your son, your friend, your lover is a scammer? Uh, that's what we do. All right, so we're down to Trash It, 4K Friends. Um... He went to a university. Uh, tells you whereabouts in India is. He's single. And he has all his lovely photos. Uh, when was the last time he posted? Is always interesting. 22 of October. So he's obviously not using this very much. But, you know, trash shit. Looking you, mate. You're looking hot there, mate. Oh, yes. Yes. I do not look like an Indian scammer from set to five. I am normal. Oh, that's me. Yes, getting arrested. I like soccer. Oh, you might know Stephen Rees Lewis. Oh, yep, look at you. Oh, yes, now look at you. You're a promoting of scammer and multi level marketing opportunity. Oh, is that your kid? That's a shame. Nice pitch. Uh, so cute. Could go through the friend's comments, but I don't think this guy's worth going after. Oh, yes, tycoon, money man. Oh, look at you there, mate. You're just trash shit there, mate. So where did this guy come from? And how come he's involved in corporate? Is he a friend of, um, you know, whatever? Might take that one. It's quite a good one. I like that one. Keep that for my spank folder. Um, I'll chuck that one in there as well. So what have we got? Oh, yep. Yeah. The man about town look. Yep. I think. Oh, look at that. Airport business class. He's got a B on his shoulder, which other people go, oh, what's the B stand for? Because that's Bitcoin. Have you heard about Bitcoin? May I get you into an opportunity of a lifetime? Oh, yep, that's a good look. Oh, yep, what's he getting his feet massaged, getting some of those fish sucker things on his face? Hey, mate, I think it's raining, or you've got cobblestones in your glasses. India. Let's go. You know why I'm taking those pictures? Because we can do image lookups. And I presume that would be a kid of his. Uh, super image, cute boy, smart boy. Uh, let's have a look. I might just find his, his partner. Who knows? Oh, uh, No. There's trash in there. I love India. I do. It's a great place to go. I went there like 30 years ago, hated it, and then it was the country I wanted to go back to the most. And then I went there about four years ago, just before COVID. Two weeks before COVID, to be honest. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so we're going to do those photos there as we go to Trash It's folder. And we we have just called screenshots. And we basically just get moved a bin as we grab all this stuff here and we just chuck it in there. And that will keep it there just in case we need to profile one day. And um, 
I've got to tidy them all up now. Put that one there. It's like a wee game. It's like playing um, Boomerang, isn't it? And there we go. And beautiful. So if you're watching this trash it, Jesus, is that him? That's not him, is it? What is it? I don't think it is. Don't know. Anyway, it's good to get a few different looks. One of the kid. Piss him off of anything. Uh, right, so that's it, I think. Uh, what have we got in the chat room? We've got, um, it's certainly shifting some big chunks of USD around and routes to another big wallet. No history on that one, though, either. Bugger. Is whatever associated to da 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 Oh, you guys are awesome. It's really quite neat. So I'll let you know if I get any word back from what they call the uh, men in black. Uh, also, I'll have a yarn. I'll, before we do go, though, I will. Um, the whole purpose of today's meeting was I'll do a summary. Um, we actually grabbed some really interesting information about the location of Ryan Jew um, and his criminal network, theoretically. Does anyone recognise where um, where he is here? Because that would be interesting, because if you look at the background, you can actually see he's on the at a music festival, which is really interesting, because theoretically, if we go to camera... Oh, Oh, we've just found a app cannot be found. Oh, that would be the karaoke program. So music festival. Is that just a made-up music festival? But, you know, is he into karaoke? I mean, Stephen Rees Lewis was right under our name, wasn't he? Uh, no, so why not this guy be right under our nose? All right, remember these guys get cocky as time goes on. Uh, right, we'll have a look quickly at... Um, what we're looking at, and we'll have a look through some notes from people, uh, YouTuber. Oh, I forgot. Don't know this one. I'll look later. Is it keep creating. No. Okay, Bob. What did Bob tell me today? Looking at Bob's notes. Uh, instructions. Don't know what you're doing there, Bob, but I'll have a look at them in a minute. Uh, renewal Hope. Uh -huh. oh, you should go through my inbox. Uh, LinkedIn Post. Hmm, don't know what that means. Oh, Danny boy. All right, buddy, uh, just remembered that I had. All right, we won't play that, but there's nothing. I'll play that in a minute. Crypto G, uh, thank you for singing my name. I quite liked it. Uh, brothers and sisters and members, uh, FX. Whoa. Oh, interesting. Not starting up Novatech again, are they? Uh, brothers and sisters and members of the noble family called Notech. I join all of you and the grief and the loss of the funds. Oh my goodness, really? Um, the group. So basically, Novatech have basically said it's over. Is that what I'm getting? Crazy. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. I won't read that now, but that's what it seems like, a big long Dear John letter making excuses to why Novatech's funds have disappeared. Uh, I believe events took place that were out of the control forcing for the temporary shutdown of Novatech. I believe the founders of Novatech are somewhere working hard to uh, reinstate the business. I believe, oh my God. So don't worry, rinse and repeat in three years' time, Novatech will start up again. It's just disgusting, isn't it? And uh, in the crypto... Um, in the whatever you call it, the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger main room... Uh, I didn't see Richard here today, so I don't know what's happened to him. Uh, we've got 65 new comments that Danny needs to sort through. We've got the Zim, Zim again. I'm just having a look for your news flashes. Richard said a few things. Thomas said a few things. There's another phone number here. Uh, we can call people. Bob. Uh, this is all Danny the heck. Appeal your requests. Hi. 
has been accessed or stored. Yeah, so now I've got to deal with uh, Zoom, who have re-enabled my account, but haven't given me my permissions back. And then, obviously, when I was recording Vera, it just went to shit, which is a shame. I'm reading stuff I don't need to read. Uh, we've got Bitcoin Promoter, another Zoom room with all the contacts. Now, good stuff, guys. All right, I think we're done. Okay, I don't think there's anything I have to urgently tell anyone. Uh, we did have some messages. I get my mind up. Uh, some messages here you can pause and read if you want. I'll just put them on the screen. But uh, I think Bob actually managed to get a couple of questions in on the chat room. Anonymous, oh, well done. Explain this. Hi, Grace. So you can, uh, that's anonymous. That's brilliant. Hi, Grace. Zumba from Texas. How's your law office? Oh, brilliant. Oh, and there's a phone number. Well done. So remember, Grace, who runs the show, is a judge, and she's been struck off. It's absolutely incredible. Alrighty, oh, I'm tired. I shouldn't have been doing this sometimes. I don't know what to do with the future of the what we're doing here, guys, because um, this whole week's going to be a bit of a drag, to be honest, um, because they are doing these stupid, um, stupid meetings. Where are they doing now? Webinars. But you're still here. Six people in the room. I've just about killed it. It's um, four hours of broadcasting. Well, a lot of the stuff we're doing here is just recording evidence and putting it on YouTube for people who really do want to um, nail these guys and do investigations. We're just hoping that, um, you know, that one bit of information may be the missing jigsaw puzzle. Um, but anyway, my next my next little, um, uh, what do I call it? My next video will be later on today. I've actually gained about 100 extra subscribers this week than I have, so some of the stuff working out really good. I might go get myself a haircut and get uh, Apple Pixel, I should say. Apple's my old dog. Some, what do they call it? Some food. Now, Carl Miller doesn't really have much of a internet presence. You can see that no, I've built doesn't. up a bit of a database with him. I've got a couple of recordings. He not. advised Yvonne. What I wanted to show you is my next live... And that will be um, probably a wee bit more exciting. Yay, Pixel. Um, this one here, the rise and fall. Now, that photo there is actually quite mind-numbing. You've got Roy, Troy, I should say, and David Chandler, and Bitcoin Rodney, and that was at the event that uh, Bitcoin Beauty was at. Now, when I looked at that video the first time, I didn't know who those people are, but now I'm looking through the, these videos. So I've got three videos to go through in a two and a half hours' time where I'm going to show you the rise of Bitcoin Rodney and, and Bitcoin Beauty, otherwise known as Brenda Chunga and Rodney Broughton. So, yeah, it's quite neat when looking through those videos, so it will be quite interesting. And I don't think there's any point of us rebroadcasting this meeting of theirs um, but I will obviously have um, the uh, webinar open and we'll have a listen in. Oh, goodness, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst presentation ever. So in summary, Carl fully exposed as promoting um, Vera into hibernation. Hibernation? Yes, hibernation. And VAV. And still bringing her up. And uh, he's taken the guide of them, and she's lost money. She lost over $100,000 to crypto, crypto investment platforms. So don't you do the same, because she's put her money into a crypto platform, put $40,000, and the expert trader invested in oil, um, what else was it, gold and diamonds or something, and lost it all within two weeks. Then she clawed back her money, no, she didn't. They gave her $10,000 to play with, and she made $100,000. And then they said if she wanted half the money, that she needed to pay another $10,000, and 
Not that they would have given her half the money. She woke up. Then she invested $45,000 into Hyperverse, got clawed back 23000 of it before the funds froze. Then Carl suggested that she invest $15,000 into um, Hypernation, and then they were waiting and waiting for things to happen. Everyone lost their money. And Carl also suggested she put $3,000 into VAV. And then once she lost all the money and she was feeling like, oh, my God, what have I done? Then what happened was um, she reached out to a company who claimed they could get her crypto back. She paid them $1,800. So there's five things that she's done to lose money and still hadn't really sharpened up to the deal. Paid them $1,800 and then she could see her money. They managed to reclaim $110,000 worth of money and put it into a WordPress website and figured it all up, gave her access and said, now if you wanted to get off that platform, you got to pay another $1,800. And in one of my earlier videos that I did, I actually rang up the guy who was meant to be her broker, an investigator, a big cheese, and um, basically blew him out of the water, talked to him for half an hour, and showed that he's just a dirty, disgusting scammer. So there's lots of scams out there, so don't get bitten. And if you've got any questions, please do reach out to me by going to my website. Um, but do make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, it really makes a difference and like the video you're watching right now and any others of mine that you see uh, and the best thing if you've got any information you know don't hesitate um, to um, you know go to my website click on the contact us page um, that would be awesome and the other thing of course you can support the channel by buying me a cup of coffee I don't get paid anything for this I haven't made any money for a couple of days but my Avengers do support me but there's more people with money out there that can support us by buying us a cup of coffee so please do feel inclined to do that just go to that link that popped up on the screen and that's about it guys so let's uh let's say the finish i'm danny de heck aka the crypto ponzi scheme avenger i'm here to name and shame anyone running a ponzi scheme or, or running or promoting a ponzi scheme or a scam and i'll see you in a couple of hours in my next live thanks for being here see ya